Party Vickers. Nikki, thank you so, so much for that host. I apologize, I didn't have alert in this new scene. I'm just setting it up right now, bear with me. But yes, enjoy the dancing later. He's a gap filler. He's, a, he's, a, he's filling the TV for the moment until new content arrives. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Welcome all. This is gonna be one hell of an interesting stream, I promise. As you can see, we're still, they're still ironing the bugs out on this intro screen. The text is all over the place, I apologize. Show. Wait for it, wait for it. It's time to start the show, guys. Look. He goes, yeah, no, really. It's time to start the show. Yes. Welcome, everyone. Um, it's going to be an interesting stream. It's, it's, it's going to be different. It's going to be fun, I hope. It's going to be hilarious for you guys, I'm sure. But um, I've been working on... <laughs> Working as best I can to uh, get this to you know a, a stage where we're ready to show truly the beauty of fiber art. So, oh, Scott with a host as well. Thank you everyone for the host. So let's uh, let's break into a new overlay. You ready? A new a new screen with not only a new overlay and a new scene, but with a new intro and a new transition. Watch this. Ready? Here we go. Ah, oh, it's professional. Look at this. We got, we got, we got a screen there, and we've got one there, and we've got another one down here. Oh, so now the little small one at the bottom, there. That's where I'm gonna look right now. That's what I'm used to looking. Look at this. Whoa, strong. All right, let's uh, kill the music off for the moment. Check it out. Welcome everyone, and thank you so much for all those guys with the hosts, AV6 Scott and Nick and Earl, thank you so much 
Blip, of course. Thank you so much. And Blipsqueak is the... Uh... Oh, this Baron is wrong. There we go. It's the start of the show. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much going on right now. So the bits should work. Yes. Bits bots is there. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me and my machine isn't dying. You might get feedback. <laughs> my face is a rocking dude. <laughs> Setting. I'm still around. Ryan, thank you so much. I don't know where to look. There's so many cameras, I don't know where to look. It's really confusing. <laughs> so it's going to be a fun stream tonight. Ryan, thank you so much. I'll look at, I'll look at the biggest screen. Why not? Let's go over here. Ryan, thank you so much for that. I'm really kind of you. I don't know if you can hear me properly. Um, it's going to be a bit of a weird stream tonight. We're an IRL. It's a family affair, as you can see. Both Mrs. Flick and, uh, and Baby Flick are here. Um, oh, all the hosts. If you get feedback from my speakers, do let me know. I apologise. Um, but we have to hear it so that, um, so that Lexi Bum can hear what's going on as well with the instructions we are going to have from the, the good lady, the very. So let's give a bit of feedback for a little bit of a, a history lesson first. So we were trying to raise uh, all, all the subs, all the love to get all the emotes. That's what we were trying to do. So we managed to hit 250 sub points, giving us the amazing amounts of that way. There we go. Up there. Mwah. All the emotes we've got for this channel. Um, and in doing so, it was actually Lutherian who was the last sub to put us over the line. Not only did she do it, the sub, but she subbed at 24.99, which gave us obviously, or gave her 30, point, uh, 30 minutes of my time to be spent with tech or painting or you know, something I'm actually fairly good at. But no, she decided I'd have to learn how to use this thing and, and, and turn this stuff into something useful. So. <laughs> That's what's happening tonight. We're going to go it for a laugh. Obviously, it's only 13 minutes, but we don't care about time. It's just for fun. Um, because for fun, we've also got Lutherian live in Discord. We will be bringing her in to talk about what she does and how, she, how the fiber art stuff has even come about and what she streams and how she got into it even. So we'll do a little bit of chit chat with Lutherian. She'll obviously going to guide me through trying to learn for the first time. Uh, Mrs. Flick and Mini Flick are here to uh, offer moral support and might even have a go, or at least Mini Flick probably won't, but Mrs. Flick might have a go. We'll see. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Um, but yes, thank you everyone for the hosts. Thank you everyone. All right, again, Ryan, first time of the day. Thank you so much. Luckily, this new overlay setup I did today is working. It looks like latest subs up there. Sub count is one. We've got current session. Then you can see, of course, on that corner. There you go. No, wait. This is really difficult. There. Up there <laughs> is the details for the variant. So we're going to be watching a tutorial that she has created. It's on her YouTube. You can do exclamation mark Lutherian in the chat to get a link directly to her Twitch channel. So you can go and give her a follow and find out how someone who actually knows what they're doing ends up with something useful. <laughs> um, all of the hype, so nice and shiny, great looking over there. Thank you. It's obviously it's quite busy. There's loads going on, but we've got three different cameras going. Because when I'm actually doing a spinny thing, you're going to be able to hold it like here. So you can see a, a front on view from this camera, but also from my normal face cam, you can see a side view as well. So Lutherian can tell me how terrible I really am from two different angles. Nice. We've also got, obviously, this one here. So where we're going to be starting off with the intro, um, uh, with the process. Now, I know this from doing some um, uh, audio checks and volume checks and all that kind of jazz. Um, for the first five minutes, you have to do uh, drafting. Yeah. You have to do things with a fiber which can be much closer. So we'll go back to our normal desktop, um, you know, like the usual one we use for painting. So lots of transition stuff. You'll have also noticed, like I said, Blipsqueak the Clown has, I'm going to call it delivered, brought on the amazing intro. Obviously, that's the first time I've used it. There's lots of things to test. I've got loads more content to go into that, make use of all the screens that are there and all that kind of jazz. Um, you also must have seen, or hopefully you saw, the, the new, or rather, one of the new transitions. Um, yeah, so we're using them tonight as well. So the whole bunch of new stuff going on. Everything is new, so forgive me. We've also got Mrs. Flick's mic working, hopefully, if you say hello. Hello. You should now actually be able to hear my wife, and that means you'll, you'll hear this little squishy thing here. <laughs> if this little squish decides not to be happy anymore, you're going to get a full volume example of what it'd be like for a parent of a six-week-year-old baby. So yeah, all the good stuff. Seven. Seven. Oh, whatever. Seven weeks. Seven now. It's seven weeks now. Yes. Look how happy she is. <laughs> um, 
Oh, Ian's in. Hey, man, how you doing? Um, yeah, so we're going to be learning how to spin and do all this arts and crafts and fibre stuff, and we're trying to promote all the thing. It looks extremely fresh. I like the wide, all professional and whatnot. Squish is nearly as old as my beard, says Lathius. <laughs> <laughs> good to know. Lovely. Almost as, almost as fat with the girth as well. You know, good, good, strong beard going with Lathius. Um, right, okay, so how best to start this? I guess we should go bring in the lovely lady with Vari and have her introduce herself. Um, already up the messing of the kids' age, you probably forgot the birthday. I will never forget Top Gun Day. That's like the greatest gift as, as, as I could have for my child being born on Top Gun Day. Because I'll remember, oh, it's Top Gun Day. Oh, that means it's my child's birthday as well. Can't get that wrong. <laughs> um, you got this. Okay, right. So, yeah, get the cheering squad from the other fiber artists. Yes, again, I've been told uh, there is a collective community of fiber artists in the chat. So, we'll have all manner of, of people asking. If you're a normally a miniature painter, make sure you ask questions. I will be asking questions. If you are interested even the slightest, because there are many people, including Lithvarian herself, uh, who will be available to ask, answer your questions. So, um, yeah, don't be afraid to ask stupid questions because I'm going to A, look stupid, and B, I'm going to ask a lot of stupid questions myself. Um, we ran a, a test video to make sure the overlays work, and m myself and my wife were both watching Lutherian's video, like I said, for a few moments, and I have the most gormless learning face ever. It's hilarious. And we were watching the video back going, oh, this isn't going to be good for me. <laughs> Um, okay, right, so let, let's bring in Lithvarian. Hopefully um, you guys, guys will be able to hear her correctly. I need to make sure that um, uh, I've set up all the levels for her mic as well. So let's bring her in and say hello. Um, so let's do this. Let's unmute. Say, hopefully Lutheran can hear me. Can you hear us? Stream to Lutheran. Hello, everyone. We. Now uh, you guys in chat are going to have to let us know if you can hear Lutheran okay compared to me and all that kind of jazz. Hopefully you guys will hear her. Um, uh -huh. Well, yes, welcome. Uh -huh. Thanks for this. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. You're going to do awesome. You, 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 you've got far much more positivity than I do. I, I should be streaming in positivity, not in IRL, to try and help. <laughs> but, uh, okay, right. So let, let's talk. Let's do a little mini interview first before we start watching your tutorial. Um, obviously, a lot of people here, in theory, will be miniature painters or of that ilk. So you might not even know what fiber arts is. So maybe just get a little bit of, of how you got into it and what it actually is. Okay, well, let's see. I probably, I started crocheting when I was about five or six years old because that's a thing that happens sometimes. <laughs> and uh, when I got to high school, I started asking questions about why my yarn stayed together. Like, what is this? Why does this work? And and so I started taking that cheap acrylic yarn apart and untwisting it and seeing how it like actually stayed together. And then I, I at this time it was the um, you know early 2000s. Uh -huh. There wasn't a lot as far as like internet. You couldn't go out and find a tutorial on how to spin. And I didn't have access to books or anything like that. I didn't have the words for what this was. And uh, what I ended up doing is I kind of my MacGyvered my way into spinning. <laughs> MacGyvered um, it. I like it. I, I found a candle stub, some duct tape, and a coat hanger. And I made my first spindle, which you'd probably call a uh, bottom whirl drop spindle. I didn't have words for that then. <laughs> you didn't know even uh, what to call it. <laughs> I didn't even know what to call it. I didn't even have wool. I had um, that cheap plastic polyfill that you stuff stuffed animals with. Mm -hmm. And that was the first yarn that I ever made was with uh, oh, like- Yeah, inside polyfill. stuffed toys and they get like in the, in the mm -hmm. grab machines, I guess. <laughs> yes, right? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, that's how I got into it. And then after, uh, after high school and once I got into college, I started like doing more research, getting deeper into it. And it's just been down the rabbit hole ever since. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love the fact you started my, MacGyvering because you didn't know what it was. You just went out and made it yourself. That, that shows much more uh, creativity, ingenuity and, and, and than I'm going to have. <laughs> I'm glad you gave me this because I had no idea. Cool. Okay. Um, what about how did you decide to, or why did you decide to stream it? Oh, there's a. I've got a fuel can for a head on this. Very the two things. Ali Tariq, thank you for the following. Welcome. Um, yeah. So, what, what? When did you decide or make the decision to 
take something like that, like the fiber arts, to Twitch? Did you know that? Did people already stream, and you found the area, or, or were you one of the first ones to do it? I mean, well, let's see. I actually started in November of last year. Oh, okay. I waited Similar to me. for yeah. I was waiting for Creative to come out. Basically, I, I had been interested in Twitch before before that, but. Um, that was when creative was really getting rolling and it was an opportunity for me. And for me, it's a learning opportunity. Yeah. Um, well, I can relate to that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I want to be an expert fiber artist. I'm not an expert yet, but by coming onto stream and being able to teach people what I do and to learn things from other people who are following me, that's, um, that's what I do is that's what brought me to, to streaming is that opportunity to learn more. Oh, awesome. Yeah, very, very similar to me then. I was the same. Obviously, I, I found it through other people already doing it and thought I'd like to have a go at it. It was kind of egged on, but also, again, the, the, the learning benefits, both teaching and learning from, massive here on Twitch. So, as, as proven, as I'm about to try something that I've never even considered trying, let alone. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, right, well, do you want, should we just start your little video, which hopefully should be that, that way, there you go, over there, and showing to everyone. Um, I'll run through the initial intro, and then if you want to interject at any... Wow, that works. <laughs> Thank you, Charles Fox, I appreciate that. Um, if you want to interject at any time, feel free to just say uh, at this point, pause, or whatever, or whatever. At the moment, I'm going to just take it step by step, um, go through your intro, let everybody else see it as well if they're learning along with us. Um, both me and my wife will be watching, um, obviously trying to learn. And then, yeah, just I guess there must be fairly straight, there must be steps. Again, I've not cheated here. I have no idea. We've watched a little bit of the video, but as you can see from the loading, but I'm assuming there's several obvious steps to this process that, that would be good to stop and pause and talk about. Does that make sense? I, I don't know. I'm assuming there's got to be, I know, I know for a fact, for example, drafting exists. So you have to pull the fiber apart. I saw that bit. So I guess we'll do that, then I'll stop, then we'll try and put it on the spindle and so forth. So, um, yeah, I guess about as far as I got as planning this was just kind of doing all the overlays, make it all work, start the video and see what happens. <laughs> You've got this. You've yeah, got this. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Hello. <laughs> Making faces at the baby. Amazing. Hello. Hello, Rick. How are you doing? <laughs> all right. So, yeah, um, what I will do, I'll tell you what, let's, let's leave this screen on for the moment and then we'll switch over. So what I'll do, I'll switch more to the, um, well, you'll see. We'll do a switch and go to. Uh, oh, hello. That one. That will do a, uh, let's do this one. Ready? Let's let's just use this. Ooh. There we go. Wait, look, we swapped over. Right. Okay. Cool. So you might, if, if that becomes too much, let us know. We'll turn the mic down so you don't hear the the, the baby gurgling in the background. <laughs> Your wife and me in the background are the most adorable thing ever. There you go. It's a family thing. It's IRL. We're in IRL. We can get away with this. It's fine. We're not in creative. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm going to start the video. Um, baby gurgles are good. <laughs> I, can, I can almost feel the ovaries expanding across the world right can, now. Can people hear her talking? Yeah. Can you, can you hear the baby gurgles or is it just my wife you can hear? As my child goes silent. can totally hear the baby gurgles. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right well if it, goes, if it comes too distracting we will we will we'll remove and all that kind of jazz all right cool so i'm gonna oh no there's a sticky bit that's stuck to the bag i've failed already let's move over there should we start with the purple no i don't want to screw up the purple should we start with the with the what beige i don't even call it like, let's switch that one over i will start the video and i will be quiet which is very rare on my own streams <laughs> how you going squid hammer welcome man Right, so let's start this. Hopefully this works. Please be very cool. Let's try and get the audio level. Come on, come on, do a load. Don't let me down. Oh no! Broke it. Flick is taking over Ella's stream again. <laughs> Megan with Lutherian Fiber Arts and today I'm going to teach you how to spin yarn on a drop spindle. We have Again, broken this tutorial down into five parts. Let me know parts if it's too quiet or what have you. How to draft, 
twist, putting it all together, and some added tips and tricks to help you along the way. Parts of the drop spindle. All right. right, let's examine our tool. This is a drop spindle, and the most important element of our spindle is the shaft. <laughs> the important, most important bit is the shaft. The yarn it's always the shaft. Make, but this is the only part that is actually necessary to a spindle. You can make yarn with just a stick, although it isn't nearly as effective. You can make yarn Next with a stick. All right, I'm and pausing it already. Hold wait. up. Okay, so. You, you sent me this called a spindle, right? Obviously, you're clearly explaining the, the item itself. And you said that the most important bit is the shaft. Let's try and not be too childish here. <laughs> you said you can do it with just a stick. If that's the case, like, like why? What, what's the question? Why aren't we using just a stick? What makes this better than a normal stick? If that makes sense. Like The, uh, the whirl, which is the part that looks like a uh, wooden wheel, actually yeah. adds weight. And when you spin it, it's going to, because it's rim weighted, it's going to spin faster and longer. Okay, right. So like a, like a spinning top from a child's toy sort of thing as well, the same concept, it's adding inertia. Exactly. Okay. Um, Hannah says that, yeah, yes, there are many cultures um, who do what is called supported spindle, which is basically just a pointy stick. It's harder though. Yeah, let's not make it harder than it already is. <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> Okay, so again, assuming my internet doesn't it helps die every time. determine how fast your spindle spins and for how long it spins. And this is a top whirl spindle, meaning that the whirl is located up near the top of the spindle. You can also have a bottom whirl spindle where the whirl is located very low. And technically, you can have a whirl at any point along the shaft, although most commonly you'll see top and bottom. A whirl that has its weight concentrated very close to the shaft, uh -oh. such as a bead spindle, will spin for very fast and it will come to a stop very fast. Okay. A whirl that is rim weighted, like the one that we're using today, maintains its weight further away from the shaft and that causes the spindle to spin slower but for a longer period of time. A rum weighted spindle is great for beginners because it's, it will spin for longer and it will give the spinner more time to work with the fibers. The next element that we have is our leader yarn. And this is a piece of yarn that you attach to your spindle to help you get started. You can attach your fiber to the end and it holds twist for you as you begin spinning. Yeah. And the next <laughs> element we have yeah. is the hook. One second. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, okay, so Lithvarin, it said at that point there, you're, again, I'm probably jumping ahead. I'm sure this is about to be explained in the video, but I'm impatient. So <laughs> so you add yarn to the end of the string, or, or end of the of this bit here. Is yeah? So I'm assuming if we're ending it to this, again, I haven't watched the video, and the name spinning gives it away slightly. I'm assuming we're, we're going to... I, 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 this, yeah, I guess you're going to use this to twist. Ah, right. I've already guessed it. So this bit's going to twist this bit. No, wait, why would you on the string? Oh, I don't know, maybe not. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, assuming you tie it to here and you sprint, twist this round, but that, would, that wouldn't actually twist it properly, would it? You'd have to use the inertia. So, oh, yeah, probably going to hook it up here. Okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I won't, I'll pause. I was just hunting through, trying to think of a guess to make before I actually gets there. <laughs> but we'll see. All right, I'll carry on. Baby is uh, being fed, so we've got some quiet. Not all spindles have a hook. But no, the hook is used to hold your yarn in place as you add twist. If your spindle does not have a hook, alternately you can secure your yarn using a half hitch knot like that. Whoa. Did you go to like the Girl Scouts or something? Girl Guides, is that what it's called? <laughs> like, here, Next, let's here, talk about drafting. Here's a knot. <laughs> drafting can be one of the trickiest and most frustrating parts for a beginning spinner. Oh, God damn Before it. Before we ever pick up our spindle, let's take some time to practice drafting one to two ounces of fiber. <laughs> I have in my lap a length of commercially prepared top, and you can practice drafting on a bat as well if you have a bat. Right. All right, so to begin with, Let's find the end, and I want you to just pull I out found it. That's it. We're done. Of fibers, not too many. And I want you to hold those between your fingers. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa. This is what Hold we that that that's to that's wait, whoa. staple length of the fiber. Just pull out this is going to happen a lot, by the way. A couple of fibers, not too many. And I a want couple. you to hold those between your fingers. All right, all right. You've pulled, you've, you've pulled out some hair, love. Okay. Like, let's, <laughs> let's do a thing. Okay, so... How are we doing? Where's the mic? Let's uh, move the camera slightly. 
There we go. You are very entertaining to my eight-year-old daughter. Oh God, I'm being judged by an eight-year-old. Okay, I will. I will try my best. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get yeah, look at the, the the camera at the bottom and this one now. So we're gonna try and do we'll just simply pull out some of the fibers. Did you, what did you say? You said six inches. Uh, six. Yeah, six inches or something. Just a couple fibers. Just tug out, like tease out, just a couple fibers. You don't need very many. <laughs> tease out a couple of fibers, she says. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right. There you go. I got a couple of fibers, guys. <laughs> I naturally want to. I want to twist it because obviously, I'm like, okay, let's just. All right. All right. What you have in your hand this is the staple length of your fiber. So right. those are the. That's the individual length of the actual individual fibers. So the strands within the, 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 the larger bit, yeah. I'm trying to show this so you guys can see. I should have showed the purple one so you guys can see what's going on. Give me a second, let me just add some focus to this because I just realized what I haven't done is set the focus up correctly. Um, where are we? That one. Two seconds, guys. Come on, machine, you can do this. There we go. Nice bit of focus. Okay. So these are the individual strand length or the fibers into fiber length. Okay. So how the hell? Okay. We're using friction here for the tie currently. That's it. Otherwise you can just pull them out. Tensile strength. Is that even? I'm just buzzwording. I know what tensile strength is. I'm sure. <laughs> Let's carry on. All right. Come on. This is what we refer to as the staple length of oh, the fiber. Oh, it's like you just said that. Awesome. And the staple length is staple. the length of the individual fibers in the preparation. The top that I have today looks like we have about a five inch staple length. And knowing well, the staple length is going to tell us how far apart to keep our hands when we're drafting. When we're drafting? We get to pick a team? When we go to draft, we want to keep our hands just about as far apart as our staple length. If we keep our hands too close together and I give this a tug, it's not going anywhere. I can sit here and tug on this all day, but it's not going to drop. <laughs> there is, right, but there is so much innuendo already. I'm going to struggle with this. I can tug on this all day. My fiber is just going to come apart. Right, too much, and it'll just So tear. we want right. to keep our hands just about the distance of our state. I was going to say, the fiber arts world is full of innuendo. <laughs> you should wait till we start talking about uh, pulling the fingering weight through the orifice. Pull. The goal is to Blimey. make the top thinner okay. and longer. Thinner and wait, whoa! Well, I missed, a, I missed a key bit here. But You're pulling things and making them longer. Okay, all right. This is gonna be one of them streams. I can see it already. <laughs> right. The goal is to make the top thinner and longer. And generally, we do this as we spin. But pre-drafting can make it easier when you spin, and it gives you practice before you combine it with what? all the other you elements just... of spinning. All right, all right, okay. Let's go back again. Pre-drafting can make it easier when you spin. Pre-drafting can make it easier. Okay. Pre-drafting. We're gonna very gently pull. Gently pull. The goal is to make the top thinner and longer. Thinner. And generally, we do this as we spin. And but pre-drafting can make it easier when you spin, and it gives you practice oh, before yeah. you combine it with all the. All right. Way okay. <laughs> Tall in. Hey, doing man. Welcome. Okay. So the very oh, Luth. I'm gonna queer Luth for this. Um. So that's our, this is what you're saying was our state, oh my god, I can't remember, um, remember the actual word. This is the length of the fiber anyway, so that's about as far away as I need to hold my hands. And in theory, some of those strands will go from, and will start to separate within here, yeah? And I'm just going to put some pressure yes. on this and pull it. Okay, yes. staple, is that right? Staple length? Yes, keep your hands further apart than the staple length. Further because apart. Because okay. if they're very close together, what will happen is that you're going to be grabbing both same. ends of the same fiber. So when you tug on it, it's not going to go anywhere. Right, yeah, which was indicated in extreme on that, yeah. So like there-ish? Oh, wait for the stream delay. That, like, that looks good. I'm scared. How, how, is there going to suddenly, this is going to break? Oh, no, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Okay, let's, let's do a bit further down here first. So like there and there. I'm, I'm surprised how much pressure I can oh, I'm pulling how do I explain this for people watching I'm putting quite a lot of pressure on this more than I anticipated I'd need to do how much am I pulling am I trying to thin it 
significantly or just a little? Like, what? when do I move to the next bit, so to speak? Because, like, I can see it moving, but I'm doing it... You can thin it considerably, but if you if you twist the section that you're thinning, that's how thick your yarn is going to be if you don't draft it any further. <laughs> that's not so, a yarn. That's a freaking rope. Okay, right. We need to, we need more. So, so you could keep you could keep going. Right. Okay. Also, pretend the fiber is a baby bird. Don't strangle it. <laughs> okay. It's 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 a baby bird. Do I have to feed it? Like. I don't know if I've had any experience looking after baby birds. I could barely look after my own daughter. Ah, oh, that, that worked. Okay, don't strangle it. So, can we pinch? Alright, alright, alright. I got this. That pinched. I'm uh, gently tugging on the length. <laughs> yeah, clip that. It's going to happen so much tonight. Might as well get used to it. <laughs> okay, that was too much. I mean, that might not have been too much, but that felt like too much. Oh, this is really bright. Okay, hold up. Give me a second, guys. Let's try and get aware of some of the some of the glare from the production value here. Okay. That's too much. Hold up. There. Is that better? Okay. So I pulled on that bit then, and I can almost see a significant difference between this section of my fingers and, say, this section, where I can see through the fibers more here than I can here. Is that expected? We have this inconsistency across the, across the length. When you're first starting, yes, absolutely. Um, okay. As you do it more, you you tend to get more consistency. But just being able to see the through the fibers is fine. Right. Okay. All right. Think about pre-drafting a little bit as practice before you spin. <laughs> pre-drafting before you right. Okay. Because this is the easy bit, right? Oh my god. How much do you pre-draft? Well, I don't know, you said, actually, yeah, in your video, you said it was the most, one of the harder bits, so I got this. Yeah, Let's I was going to say, I think this is probably the most important part, is learning how to draft, and it's also, the, it can be the trickiest. So just getting that down makes the putting it all together way easier. Yeah, cool. Okay, good. Um, let me just catch up a little bit of chat as well. Oh, Scott, your new emote is much, much better than the horrendous black thing you had last time. That's awesome. That's worthy of a sub. <laughs> um, <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. Yeah, that's exactly why I changed. I went from a grip, a manly grip, should we say, to more of a, a polite, a, a polite teasing. <laughs> Hands further apart if you have to use that much pressure. Okay. <laughs> um, you can grab just the very end of the fiber to start drafting. Okay. All the all, your, all the team of uh, variant fiber artists. Thank you so much for popping into the stream and enjoying in. This this chaos as I learn. Okay, it's very kind of you guys. All right, so I feel like there's a significant amount. I'm gonna unroll this. Oh, I'm gonna be seeing fibers for days. I'm gonna be picking fibers out of my keyboard and see it. <laughs> All right, so again. Oh, Rain Rainer has to pick them out of his clear coat sometimes. So. <laughs> yeah, you two, you guys, as as a couple, don't have a hobby that tends to go together so much. Surely between the two of you. <laughs> Fibers in clear coat does not sound fun. Okay, all right. This is. So I've got a significant. Do I try and straighten this out? There's like an extra bit here by the looks of things. Can you see that? So where this is a, a fairly comfortable, straight line. There's an extra tuft. Am I just going to keep? Will this smooth out as I put pressure to it and as I tug it? Yep. It'll okay. just it'll smooth out. Just keep keep pre-drafting it. Oop. All right. Well, yeah. That, 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 I killed the, the bird's dead. Start again. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Love, I was too forceful. Yeah, no worries. And if it breaks, we can always make joins later on. You can join it? Uh oh. When you're twisting. I'm twisting? No, when you're twisting. Oh, when you're twisting. It's really weird. Look at the camera. Look at the back of your head. I know why you're feeling, obviously, but still. <laughs> it's like I'm talking to the back of my wife's head. Hi. It's fine. Try not to rush this but too much strength because it's like there's nothing happens nothing happens suddenly it comes loose and that's the bit where i was like whoa and just like i tore it a minute ago man it's also really weird not having music in the background for me 
Cease the streaming having music whilst I'm talking rubbish. Now I'm just talking rubbish and all you can hear is me talking rubbish. Okay. So how long would this process take for someone who, like yourself who's far more expertise or have far more, more expertise in the field? Is this like a, something you guys would do and expect like a certain amount of time per length? Is there an estimation or is it just a variable? Well, um, honestly, I'm really lazy, so I wouldn't pre-draft. You wouldn't do this bit? I would, I would skip that part. Oh, God. So you've given me the hard bit, and you don't even do the hard bit. I feel, I feel slightly upset about that. <laughs> Tr trust me, it's better to figure out, out now than uh, when you have the spindle in your hand and all the other bits going all wibbly wobbly everywhere. See, I checked out one of your streams, a, sneak, a sneaky little lurk, and you had one that was like, looked like it was automated. Like it was by your leg, and it was doing all manner of spinning from some old like Victorian style drama series. I was like, wait a minute, that's not the little thing I've got. What you doing here? I don't know what it was. It was by your. It was like a. It's a spinning wheel. Yeah, that's cheating. That's cheating, Fairy. I'm very dare you put me in this situation. <laughs> Where's my wheel? Why didn't you send me a wheel? <laughs> you got you got to start with the spindle. I started with the spindle too. Oh, so this is a rite of passage. Is that what you're saying? Is that what this is? This is a rite of passage. In order to, to, to truly understand the art of fiber, fiber arts, I have to start right at the beginning. Yep, and, uh, I, and some people never even get a wheel. Some people stick what? with spindles because they like them better. They like them better. Are these people in pl in rooms with padding? Oh, there is one. Uh, there's one book called Respect the Spindle. It is my favorite book right. um, from a fiber artist, and she talks about how some fiber artists uh, can actually spin more yarn on a spindle than on a wheel, which is crazy pants. Well, as in, in spin more yarn in what speed wise, or just in doing what I'm doing here and just making them white longer. So you get at the end of the, the process, you end up with more yarn. Is that what you're saying? So, uh, the... Speed and quantity. <sighs> As a male, I can't do speed and quantity. It's not going to work. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm finding myself, I don't know if you're seeing this on stream, I'm hoping I'm on camera. I'm doing it almost in parts. I'm kind of going down the right gap apart, but I'm not doing it all at once because of this like that there, I can do the top bit and then I'm bringing the bottom bit out. So that bit I think is really, it's not completely poor, but that's clearly one of the thinnest parts. Like here, for example, I've got another bit, so I'm doing it here. I think I'm getting it, but I'm just being a far more careful than I anticipated I needed to be. I'm treating it like, what is it, like a little bird, <laughs> like, like a baby bird. Okay, I'm still gonna end up with, with that's a good question. A genuine question as well, because I I'm this is probably an obvious thing, people will laugh at me before, but whatever. I'll put myself out there. I don't mind. Right, so with spinning fibre, would you would you refer to this as wool and we're gonna make yarn? Are we are we spinning fibre into yarn? Like what's the terms to use here? What is this because like am I making string? Am I making yarn? Am I making I don't I don't know. You're gonna be spinning yarn. What you have there is Corydale wool. Corydale is a it's a yeah. particular breed of sheep. Um, okay. But what you have is commercially prepared top. So it's all stretched and long. Okay. Did we, it's all stretched and long. Okay. I thought we'd, we thought we lost you there for a moment, like a mid-sentence. It's all stretched and long. It's commercially available. This is wool. We're making it into yarn. Okay. How much am I going to do? Do I do all of it? Well, actually, there's not much left. Yeah, with the wall, it's great. Okay. Sorry, I keep dropping my button because I'm trying to gesture with my hands while talking. <laughs> I've done that as well. I, I switched Discord into obviously voice activated because I'm doing this, but normally I push to talk. And you ask anyone who sits in Discord with me during a day when I'm I'm painting or working or whatever, same thing. The, the start and end of my sentence are somewhat of a guesstimation. You have to kind of guess what I was saying because I tend to press the button too late or let go too early, etc. So that's fine. That's cool. I gotta be careful not to go. The thing is, like holding, holding my hands further apart than the staple length. I'm trying to remember the word there. Means that the the 
the weak point tends to be in the center. Only it's not always the center. I'm watching the separation as I'm doing this slowly but surely. And sometimes you can see them, like, you know, the fibers are linked like this using uh, friction. And you can see them pulling at different points. So actually, even though I'm holding it here, sometimes the separation occurs here. So I'm finding I'm actually going in with a slightly smaller than staple. And I'm just, like I say, I'm going bit by bit down the, <laughs> down the length of the world. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, for all the fiber artists in the channel right now, I bet there's a load of you just cringing, going, what is he doing? Oh, God, he's ruining it. I've just got this vision. Um, I'll, there are a lot of plant fibers and synthetic fibers that can be spun as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Jaku, how are you doing? <laughs> what is it, is this? But why? Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> yes, this is something that's slightly new. Hey, Death, what are you doing? Um... I'm in rooms with padding often. They tend to have free Wi-Fi, says Walls of Cab. <laughs> Way to see the silver lining. I appreciate that. That's a lovely outlook on life. <laughs> How you doing, Edgecu? Anyway, welcome. Yes, this is obviously a very different stream as per normal. This is a, a bonus stream. That's why it's on a Sunday rather than one of my regular scheduled streams for creative. And I'm with, here with Lutherian. Exclamation mark Lutherian in the chat. We'll get you the link to her channel. We, she's here. Uh, teaching us how to, to do spinning, I guess, as part of an element of fiber arts. Um, yeah, it's the way that she decided she wanted to spend her 30 minutes of my time for supporting us to get the emotes, and obviously we've we've extended that just for the fun side of things, to make it into a stream and have a laugh, so that's what we're doing. So yes, there's, there's no mini painting, but let's be fair, it's a Flickster stream, there's never mini painting. It's a whole lot of whinging, some assembly every now and then, that's about it. <laughs> Um, okay, so talking about that, when, when we first spoke about doing this, uh, Luth, you were saying about um, the Tour de Fleece. Do you want to, whilst I'm doing this, do you want to talk a little about, about what that is? Ooh, after yeah. I say hello to people, one second. Roak, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying yourself. And that's Mini Flick. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, go on. Uh, sorry to enjoy it. To talk about um, Tour de Fleece and what that is and, and how it sits in the fiber arts world. Yeah, Tour de Fleece is actually an event that's going on right now. Um, this is day two, and um, it coincides with Tour de France. And for every day that the tour rides, um, we, as teams of spinners, spin yarn. Okay. So we rest on the rest days, we do challenges on the challenge days, and it's an opportunity for uh, teams of people to get together, to support each other, and to challenge themselves in new ways um, doing fiber arts. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Is it a way of expanding their, their current or what they do normally or trying out, let's say, new things? Is it, uh, yeah, a lot, it's, it's all up to the individual. Um, some people choose to um, push themselves to spin for a little bit every day. Some people choose to learn new techniques, new dye techniques, new spinning techniques. Um, some people who, like, if you always spin lace weight yarn, you might try spinning a, a big fat art yarn. A so lace it's, it's, weight yarn. So you're, you're talking about the, uh, the the thickness of the actual fibers, or are you talking about the way it's prepared? Um, the thickness of the actual yarn. So a, okay. a lace weight yarn is going to be a very very thin yarn. Okay. I guess that means does that mean again? Obviously, forgive me. A complete not clue. Not a clue. It, does that mean obviously that a higher difficulty rating because it's thinner, or is that easier? I mean, like. Um, I, you know what? I think it's, it takes a little bit of skill to get thin, but then once you learn how to spin thin, it's actually harder to learn how to spin thick again. <laughs> okay. I was going to make a very inappropriate reference, and I won't. That's fine. Yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> once you've done it once, you don't go back. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. It, just take, it, takes, it takes lots of practice to, to get a thicker yarn, which is so weird, but it, that's the way it rolls. Just, yeah, we've got a, um, a Twitch team for our Tour de Fleece, too. So a bunch okay. of, of, uh, of the folks who are here in chat are on our Tour de Fleece team, and oh, awesome. uh, we're all spinning together for it. So. That's very cool. Well, feel free to, to advertise that and put the link down so people can go and follow the team and see when you guys stream. Obviously, I don't, haven't had a chance to check any of them out, really, so by all means. Free will, obviously, go for it. It's a community thing here. We're trying to build up as well and follow creative, following creative and all that kind of jazz and, and broadening horizons. That's what we're doing this for. So by all means, guys, if you are a fiber artist in the channel, feel free right now to just have, do a forward slash ME in a wave and say hello. Same with the miniature painters. You guys do a, do a shout out now. Just put a four slash Emmy. Obviously, we had Scott and um, Nikki Coles helping us at the more in the early of the stream with a host. So, 
say hello guys and hopefully we'll get some fiber artists watching mini painting and vice versa that's cool that's what it's all about so so you say it goes on for the, the whole length of the tour uh, to france is that you said there's like challenges each day are they set like is there a com committee that sets challenges or is it just like you said it's a personal thing so I'm going to do some spinning today, tomorrow I'm going to learn how to do dyeing, I'm going to do you know, whatever other parts of fiber arts there are. Or is it an actual, like, today's event, you know, this leg of the race is this bit, you know, and you all do spinning together, you all do tie-dye together, or whatever, forgive me. You, you know, you know what, it, it depends on what teams there you're on. Because oh, really? Teams okay. Because have different things. Um, for the Twitch Creates Yarn uh, mm -hmm. team, we actually have very minimal structure because we've got a lot of newer spinners and we just want to encourage people to get better and to learn what they want to do. Okay. For another team that I'm a part of um, called Do It Yourself and Die, the whole goal of the <laughs> team is everything has to be processed from the beginning up. So you have to start with a raw fleece, you have to scour it, you have oh, to- Oh, so even, be even before it. this? So you start with, yep. with like straight from the sheep, so to speak, if you're- Straight know. from the sheep. And wow. then everything has to be dyed. You can use natural or commercial, like as acid dyes, but um, it has to be basically from sheep to shawl. Oh, wow, really? Uh, no, I didn't, Ojiku, that's cool. Wow, I can't imagine that starting with, uh, uh, starting, uh, with the sheep. Like, like do you, uh, have, have you guys, as, uh, as an experience, gone to a farm and shorn the sheep yourself, so to speak, and done that part and seen how, it, or is it just, like how far, well, out of your own experience, <laughs> how far have you gone? Have you, have you done that yourself? Have you gone to a farm? I, I, I have not sh shorn a sheep myself. The, oh, that's actually sheep, like a profession. There are professional sheep shearers. Oh, I know um, that from, from, from the agriculture link with my, my wife, Lexi here. <laughs> her her uh, father was a agriculture, what, what, how do you actually say it? He was head of agriculture for Barclays Bank. So he, he, he would he, deal with a lot he, of farmers. He's an agricultural consultant. There you go, agricultural consultants. And I'm, I'm sure he would be greatly excited about things like this and promoting the use of natural fibers and, and, and hand crafting and all that kind of jazz. So there's a, there's a connection there. So yeah, I, again, I, I know that bit that there are professionals that their entire job is to, yeah, I don't know, Sean Cheap, I guess. <laughs> is that the right thing to say? I don't know. But obviously, I, just, well, I was just curious. You're saying like, taking it from one end to the other, obviously someone's got to I, actually I've shear the sheep. I've gone to but. a sheep hearing. I've oh, okay, so you've seen future. it. Oh, that's cool. So I've seen it. Um, I, I pick up a lot of my fibers at local farms. Um, there's events like there's a an alpaca show that happens in Kansas City. Okay. And uh, I've gone to the alpaca show to make, um, you know, meet, meet uh, farmers and people who are growing fiber, so. Okay, cool. Um, just just what, one second. Can you hear the baby hiccuping? Is that a thing on Twitch? <laughs> Sorry, hopefully not. There, there's baby hiccups going in the background. It's quite funny. <laughs> I'm listening to you and then I hear this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I missed the start. Yes, you did, Mae Jester, but don't worry, we haven't got very far. We're just talking about all things. Whilst I draft the wool, I found my staple length, and I'm using that as a guide of how far away my hands are, and I'm, I'm thinning out the wool by drafting it, as it's called, which is you know, spreading the the fibers where they're, they're mixed together like this. I'm trying to get into the, like this effectively. Pre-draft. Oh, pre-draft. I don't know. Drafting, pre-draft. Pick Shall your. Shall I do the purple? You want to do the purple? Yeah, get on the bottom of the purple. You want to come closer? Purple's my favorite color. Be nice. I shall try not to fuck it up. <laughs> don't swear. Is your mic on? Can you can you hear the lady? Hi. <laughs> baby hiccups. Five out of five lit. <laughs> we should get a baby cam as well. That'd be hilarious. Okay, right. Well, um, you do need a baby cam. <laughs> I'm not sure if, how that works on the old Twitch terms of service. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, I've seen puppy cams and cat cams and all that kind of jazz, but I'm not sure using your child or putting your child on the internet via a camera specifically dedicated to them is a way of good father parenting 101. I mean, let's be fair, Gang Gang to be, or Gang Gang to Ella, who is in, not in the chat now, but normally in the chat, my uh, mother in real life would love that. Grandma getting to see uh, official baby cam on Twitch. But I'm not sure the regular miniature painter viewership would appreciate or be that interested, really. <laughs> we'll see. Shenanigans. Can I know? Everyone loves a baby. Say again? That's shenanigans. Everybody loves a baby. <laughs> true. I've seen tit cams. This is true. Twitch does have a lot of booby streamers. That's fine. Can I commission you to make me a scarf? <laughs> 
Uh, no, but you can probably, I don't know, Lutherian, do you, Luth, do you and the, and the Fiber Arts guys take commissions such like that? Making uh, garments from scratch, is that a thing? So yeah, a lot of people do take commissions. I usually don't personally take commissions for some of the same reasons that Rainer doesn't um, in that it makes it a bit more of a job for me. Um, so most of what I produce is supplies for other artists. Okay, so in, for you, do you go as what, make it into the yarn, then you supply the yarn at a certain cost to them to then make into whatever garments oh. they're trying to create, is that correct? A lot of times what I'll do is I'll dye fiber and I will uh, prepare bats and roll logs, which are types of preparations of fiber. And I make those available. I also, funny enough, I wood turn. So you wood turn? Uh, oh, that, that, that's wood, very popular wood, in this stream. Wood, <laughs> wood, wood, wood. A oh, wood turn. Wood. I, said, I thought you said wig. Oh shoot, I put fibers together with wig. I was like, well, this stream's got loads of wigs. You're in the right place. No, oh wood God. turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I make wooden tools. So um, okay. That's I, cool. I provide wooden tools for fiber artists too. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Need to get Flick to make me a, a willy warmer for the winter. Uh, yeah, that'd be amazing. Um, I, I might have enough for that. We'll see. <laughs> Um, Space Marine Fiber Art Plushie. Oh, plushies. Oh, well, this is... I'm not, yeah, that, that involves skill. I don't have any of that. We're, we're barely getting past the uh, pre-drafting, as I was corrected by Hannah. It sounds like a... So what, there's pre-drafting, drafting, you pick a side, pick a team, like, like... <laughs> what's that about? Where, where, where do the terms come from? I'm, I'm mildly joking, but in a curious... Where do the terms drafting, pre-drafting, you know... Are these just Absolutely. used from in the past? You've read them, and that's just a traditionally what they've been called since they. Or that's is this a good question? I don't. I don't know the history of the term. Okay, curious. That was all. Why is it called drafting? Why is it not called pulling hush, gaps? Hush, and... Rainer. Hush, <laughs> Rainer. Luth <laughs> felted a marine. Ask her. Orcs too. Uh oh. Well, you got hushed, so I'm not. I'm not going to place the question to my guest. She, she is a guest, so. <laughs> I think Ojiku wants to pull you, Latius. Hello, Sailor. Hello. <laughs> How you getting on? Man, you're like millions of miles ahead of me. I'm not. You're done. I'm, I'm Yours is already thinner, I think. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Yeah, you're, look, look at the, look at the, look, look how thick this is. It looks like a, I could use this as a. It covers the whole the, the whole camera. I could use this as a scarf. Yours looks like a tube. I, I feel like I gave you the easy one. Ah. <laughs> In before, everyone says I'm really slow at painting and fiber arts. All right, all right. Okay, so how far am I going with this? Like, is there a consistency as far as, uh, how to explain this, it's very hard with the camera. So, to see through it, you said if you twist it, that's the, like, again, I'm twisting on this, it's still pretty big, but do I tear it apart? Should I make it like the width? Should I worry about this much? Because you can see here where clearly, this is a thinner consistency, but when I we'll, twist we'll it... We'll do a little more drafting when we get to the point where we're actually spinning. Right now, it's an opportunity to just get your hands on the fibers, to feel how they move, and to open them up to make it easier to spin from. Okay. That was a great generic answer that didn't tell me how wide to do it. <laughs> right. I'm good at those types of answers. <laughs> All right. Um... And I promise you guys, I will do more felted orcs. There will be more felted Warhammer in the future. I, I need to know what this is. I need to find out what it even is. Felted work sounds interesting. Oh, I did, um, for Rainer, I did a whole bunch of felted um, Warhammer things. So I did like a bunch of orcs and uh, a uh, space marine helmet. Okay, Coco Coley, thank you for the following. So what did, what did felting them involve? Let, let's just, again, treat me as a child, explain what that even term means. You take a very, very long, sharp needle with barbs on the side of it and stab it toward your hands repeatedly. Huh? I'm not sure I like the idea of that. <laughs> just spin already, says Squid Hammer. Don't rush art, my friend. <laughs> so... What, what drives a person to uh, take a sharp instrument with barbs all down it and stab them towards themselves repeatedly? Uh, because here's the technical explanation. 
<laughs> as opposed to the, the, the so, barbaric, terrifying one. Okay. <laughs> yes, aside from the barbaric. So, <laughs> if you look at fibers underneath the microscope, if you take wool and you look at it on the microscopic level, each individual fiber has microscopic barbs on the um, length of the individual fibers. Yeah. So, the process of felting, which is usually heat plus water plus agitation, um, you end up with felt. When you take a sharp needle that has barbs on it and stab it into the wool, you're basically forcing those um, microscopic barbs to hook into each other and they get closer and closer until they're basically, it's, it's all attached to one unit. Oh my god, that's how you make felt, the stuff you play with as a child, you make... That is how you make felt. I will respect child childhood felt-based toys more than ever before. <laughs> People took their own lives at risk to make this felt. <laughs> Otaku, that sounds like a new fetish for me. <laughs> if I call it correctly, I watched Luth during um, felt during a charity stream with Raina and booze was consumed. Wait, wait, alco <laughs> alcohol plus ba barbed stabby things. No, this is dangerous. You're, you're, you're a you're a brave lady. I didn't stab myself. Okay, you're a brave and lucky lady. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, <laughs> it's, tell you what, is Raina lucky? Were you stabbing towards Raina? Because <laughs> okay, I'm getting this. This is going thinner, and I haven't broken it yet. I've got a few bits that are really thin that I'm kind of scared about. I, I've got that as well. I've yeah, there's some, a few bits that I've probably things. pulled slightly too much. Got some seriously anorexic bits. You got some anorexic bics. Yeah. I keep repeating you because that's what you used to have to do. I don't need to repeat you now. They can hear me now. You have your own mic. I've mic'd up the lady. Finally, the wife has her own mic. Now, um. all we need one is for baby burble cam. <laughs> yeah. Get a, and a third one. Get the stream to uh, support us. Get a baby mic and we can hear the burbles. Yeah, and no one will listen to you. They'll just listen to the baby. That's the whole point. We've already said it's Ella's stream and not my own. No alcohol for you. You're already at risk of injury. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> blood for the blood gods. Felting is a recipe for RSI. Entirely possible. She's not joking. Wait, what? Oh, become one with the five, I see. So much innuendo is spinning. Who'd have thought? Oh, there's a load. You, earlier on the stream, we had a whole bunch of it. And we have, we've got to carry on. In fact, I'll tell you what. Should we carry on with the video? Because we're only, what, we're like four minutes into a 20-minute video. Because we're doing the pre-drafting. Yes. Pre-drafting. Not drafting yet, we're pre-drafting. It's like pre-boarding on a plane. You're not boarding the plane yet, you're pre-boarding the plane. Which is the same as boarding called something silly, I guess. Dumb term, pre-boarding. Right, let's go hit the right. The other elements of spinning. So, once you've drafted some fiber out, you can take a little bit of it and use your hands to add some twist. And that's going to show you how thick the yarn will be when you spin it up. Okay. You, if it's too thick, you can draft it out some more, but try not to draft it too thin. It's way easier to make a yarn thinner than it is to go back and add fiber and make it thick again. If your drafting breaks, that's okay. Remember, this is time for practice. Just set this piece aside and then keep going. You okay. can always join that fiber later. <laughs> Pulling his length. Yes, the Sarthes, there's always a danger when I pull my length. Especially this softly and gently. Let's talk about twist. Oh, let's talk about twist. Twist is essentially stored energy. Let's talk about twist. When you have fiber, it is in a resting state. And as soon as you begin mechanically adding twist, you are storing energy. You release that twist when the fiber wants to unwind, and it wants to return to a resting state, and you lose all of that stored energy. You love that. That's why when you're spinning a single and you let it go, or accidentally add twist in the wrong direction, twist it equals energy. to unwind itself. Adam twist was pretty engine. When referring to twist direction, there are two terms that you're going to often hear in the fiber arts world. That is S twist and Z twist. No, 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 it's a Z twist, love. No, no, it's not a Z twist, it's a Z twist. I'm going Incorrect. back. Incorrect. Incorrect. <laughs> term that you're going to often hear in the fiber arts world. That is S twist and Z twist. No, no, Z. And the difference between the two is the direction in which you add twist. 
So when you look at your yarn closely, you'll notice that you can see the twist direction in yarn. Oh, the yarn. <laughs> uh, an easy way to remember which is the S twist and which is the Z twist is the, oh, is the, the... direction of the twist. Right. So depending on which way, if I were to twist that way, or if I were to twist that way, I get a Z or an S. Okay. So the question there is what 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 why is the difference? What if you're left handed you naturally do a Z, a Z or Z? Yeah, does it matter? Does it matter? Z's dead, baby, indeed. Where is Z? Z's dead. It baby. does matter because it does if matter. you start spinning one direction and change directions halfway through, no, it's I'm gonna sorry. untwist and you're not gonna have <sighs> yarn, you're gonna have fluff. <laughs> We like fluff, <laughs> but I like fluff. Wait, marshmallow fluff is not what we're making here. Don't eat this. <laughs> just want to put that out there right now. That would be Darwinian at its finest. It would just be a little bit of extra fiber in the diet. <laughs> this this is true. Okay. Um. Uh, the captain was thing also. Oh, no. Can I get a hype for them here bootleg noise marines? Also silenced bolt pistols. So the bootleg marines, the stuff you're talking about, Ojiku, about bootlegged uh, noise marines. Is that because someone's doing a conversion or they're actually announcing and releasing them or is someone doing it themselves? I'm curious. I'm sure Rain will be interested in some noise marines. Um, fluff for the fluff, God says Darth Dolan indeed. Even if it's too thin or breaks, you can rejoin. Yeah, so, so yeah, Luth was saying you can rejoin it. Even the mind boggles at how you rejoin yarn. <laughs> you alright? Oh, you were alright. That face went from a happy smiley gurgle to a, I'm not quite sure I like this gurgle. <laughs> Indeed. I'll give you a link. All right, cool. Thank you. Oh my god, this is going over. How? Okay. <laughs> um, so let me let me let me show you how much I got a lot, as you can probably see this. Have you have you been have you been oh binged Rick and Morty yet? No, I didn't watch a single one. I was busy yesterday. Uh, oh no, I've lost my staple thing. <gasps> Where'd it go? You've been continuing to use it as a reference. I was just in case, but now it's gone. It, it's been sucked up back into the fiber, like like some no, kind of no, weird transportation out. system. I, I don't know. It's just gone. It was it was here, and now it's not here. Uh, well, staple length retired. Um, I got a lot. Am I gonna like pre pre draft the entire ball that you you sent, or should we pick up half? I mean, how much? I found that mine was kind of in two bits, so I've pre-drafted It was in two bits already. God damn it, you've got, you got the cheating one. I've kind of pre-drafted and pre-drafted this bit. You've pre-drafted a bit already? Yeah. Look at this, I've got so much, it's still really thick, and there's like extra bits. God damn it. It's all good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Thanks for the motivation there, Luth. Yeah. <laughs> you're fine. Yeah, it's fine. Stop whinging, you're all right. <laughs> man up. Don't tell me to man up, love. <laughs> I'm very dare you. Look, look at it. It's I've I've got Marilyn Monroe's lost wig here. Like it's just. Okay, like, we're gonna get this thing. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> you broke time and space. Oh my god! Honestly, it's <laughs> right there, there, <laughs> there. Stop! <laughs> it's everywhere. It really is everywhere. There <laughs> <laughs> okay. we go. Um, another wig stream, shut it. I don't know how long the freaking staple was. Uh, yeah, staple. Ah, there we go. Oh, I got it anyway. <laughs> then I need that staple thing. Whatever. Amateurs. Oh, kind of ripped it. It's fine. For, for Corey Dale, it's going to be about five inches. <laughs> A man's five inches or an actual five inches? <laughs> we'll let you decide that one. <laughs> Thanks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Quick. Nope. Bouncing makes it better. <laughs> Bouncing does not make it better if it's hungry. All right, let's continue the video while we're learning about some physics between S and Z. Well, 
will match the center Someone distract him and replace the, the bundle of fiber with a box so of jellyfish. Of <laughs> Stop it. Or the center post Ouch. of the S. You're supposed to come to Twitch to learn quietly. Now, when we talk about pi. We talk about pi? talking about taking two single strands of yarn. Okay, one second. Which are twisted in the same direction. And twisting them. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> plying. Oh, and you're plying. <laughs> Everyone's like, no plying, obviously. I'm like, I don't know, plying. I thought we were going to make, do some maths to go with our physics. Why not? One, one moment. This is an IRL stream after all. Yeah, we're an IRL, there's no rush now. Hey, hey, where's the grumps? Why are you grumps? Tell them what you told me. Hello. That one's gonna dribble. Why are you dribbling? <laughs> <laughs> all the baby things. This is the most domestic stream ever. It is indeed, it's a family IRL stream. We're having fun, we're doing some fiber arts, we're. Just go home, honey. We got a bunny, apparently. And, and it, that looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> what are you doing, dribbles? Da, 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 da. Okay, can I, can, I, can I get, oh, we've been for hours. We haven't actually done a single bit of spinning yet. This is like an actual painting stream for me. <laughs> like, entire stream, no painting occurring. It's a spinning stream with no spinning. Okay, we're back. Back in the room. Maybe next week we can get Flick to cook. Are we trying to domesticate Flick via Twitch? Is that what this is? Is, is my wife paying you all? And I'm not aware of this. Is this like... Why am I paid to have to spin? Well, I don't know what it is, but cooking? Probably. That could be useful. Maybe. Uh, maybe we should get the working chef involved next. She streams cooking. Or get D-Day to show me how to cook crocodile again. <laughs> Alright, okay. Let's go back to our physics lesson now that baby shushed. In the oh, did opposite you? direction around each other so that they find a resting place of balance. The goal with plying is that we want to release the twist without looting that twist energy. So in our example here, we have two Z twisted singles and we are then going to ply them in the S twist direction. As we ply, we are removing twist from the individual singles. Whoa. That's quite loud. It might be going through the mic. I apologize. <laughs> she just danced to herself. <laughs> that might become a thing. Be careful. Streaming Lexi Bum and Mini Flick. Nice. I heard you were going to stream making the second child as well. I'm looking forward to that. Wow, creepy Wow, much. wow. <laughs> was that random alien? Yeah, that was random alien. You know it's random alien without even looking at it. <laughs> Damn, thank you for the subscription, mate. Right, I'm not sure about the whole second kid thing. It's now you're on the, on, on the sex thing. Blimey. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that Flick's future car building stream will be just be him sitting next to a pile of tires? Lay, that's bang on. What we'll do when we're streaming on our uh, on our automotive one on our drifting one so that's on the uh, Sijigiri Motorsports Twitch channel when that starts getting up to uh, fully underway and all the building of the cars and all the streaming and all that kind of jazz you're right I will be doing all the streaming I will be doing none of the work <laughs> I will have peons to build the car so yeah you're pretty much bang on lay that's the way it is right that's where it should be you know I'm the host I'm not the talent I've never been the talent here we always know the talent is Ella I'm the host on this stream it's the same thing with drifting We'll get my brother to drift and drive. I'll be the host. And someone, we'll get the mechanics, Ian and Co. To do the actual building of the car. Right, anyway. Again, back to our, master, our, our physics lesson. I was worried because I got slightly confused. We've got an S and a, and a Z. And you do the S the same way that you twist the yarn to add additional strength in the same direction. By looks of things. But I could be wrong. So I want to go back and check. Yeah. Too much twist and your yarn will kink up on itself and be hard. Too little twist and your yarn will hang limp and be difficult to work with. And in both <laughs> cases, both over twisted and <laughs> so, so, just to be clear here, too much and it'll get hard, not enough 
and it'll be limp. How? I think I warned you about the language at the beginning of the video. <laughs> yes, yes, you did, Liv. <laughs> you ply in the opposite direction that you spun. You ply in, oh my God. Okay. All right, so if you're spinning yeah. a yarn, yeah, you will yeah. spin it in one direction. So let's say you spin it in the Z direction. I'll and then that. you would Thank ply you. it. So you would take two strands of that to ply together and you would spin that in the S direction. Okay. All right, so a single, when we're spinning from wool to yarn, I would naturally want to spin that way. I don't know why, I just would. So I twist it that way. When I've got two pieces of yarn, we then spin it the other way to turn the yarn into, or plying together to make, from what? Yarn becomes string? I don't know. Well, it, it becomes, a, it starts out as a singles yarn and it becomes a two-ply yarn. A two, okay, well, that, <laughs> uh, okay, two-ply yarn. Fair enough, I should have kind of guessed that. Right, okay. Right, okay. So opposite direction to it. Z one way or Z. And we're gonna S the other one. Which direction is if I mm, I'll explain this. So let's bring this into the oh hold up. So let's bring this into the thing. If I were to do this, it, it, this is the top, right? This bit's the top. So I would naturally, right handed, I would spin uh, let's call that clockwise. Which way is clockwise considered? This would be the way that the the way you've drawn it. Clockwise should be the S twist, I think. S twist. The S. Oh my god. Nope, I got it backwards. It's Z. No. Oh, <laughs> okay. Clockwise is Z. Right. Okay. We'll get. We'll do that. Um. Pile down. Okay. Posted a cute pic on Flix's server. Welcome lobby. Okay, Darth. Cool. We'll check it out later on. Thank you so much. Um, single strand, then two together equals two ply. Okay, yeah. I mean, again, now you said it, it's like, well, obviously, it's gone from one ply to two ply. I'm like, okay, yeah. Anyway. Um, wow, Viking with the caps lock doesn't even read the title. <laughs> what the fuck? You shut up! No painting! Yes, we're in IRL, we're in fiber arts. Can you take a guess at what we're doing? We're, we're learning fiber arts as part of a fun cross Twitch setup between myself and Lutherian, another streamer here on Twitch. Her details are top right hand corner, so like above me. Uh, there ish up there. So we, we're watching her video tutorial on how to, be, uh, to begin spinning. We're still on part one, which is the uh, pre-draft because it's so much of it too pre-draft. Um, you can go through to her channel. Also, exclamation mark Lutherian will also get you a link to her channel, and you can learn yourself or learn along with me. Obviously, I appreciate you don't probably have the materials now, but you can at least watch this video back. This vod will be on YouTube. It will be on my channel's vod page, etc. So you can uh, go back through and relive all the highlight bits as I fail miserably at this. Um, but no, there's no mini painting today. This is not a regularly scheduled stream for me. My mini pa miniature painting will be Monday and Wednesday next week. And we'll be back tomorrow with that Monday stream. Uh, hopefully doing some actual painting this time, but dare I say we might be doing more assembly because I don't do painting on my painting stream anymore. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, Viking. As again, the title should be clear. But it is a brand new overlay. We've got brand new transitions, a brand, brand new intro, so things are happening. We've also been working on some other bits and bobs. I've got... Oh. No. Uh, we've also got uh, a bit more... Blip's been working on our t-shirt design. That's nearly finished now. We've got stickers done, business cards done, boxes have been almost finished, so loads of stuff happening in the miniature series. But here today, tonight, we're having fun. We're doing... Uh, as part of a 30 minutes that Luthverian got from graciously and, and generously donating to help us get all the emotes you can see at the top above my finger there. Um, Luthverian was the one that ticked us over the 250 line, so to speak. Obviously, you were all part of that, so thank you all. Um, but yeah, she decided to spend her 30 minutes, sent me a spindle kit. A, is that right? A spindle kit? A spinning spindle? What's the term there? Yeah, it's a spindle. Yeah, there you go. Uh, sent me a kit. All of her own cost. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, that's amazingly kind. It won't read it out though, unfortunately, due to the threshold, but I'm a nice, I'll let it out. Just testing the donations to make sure they still work and that you give me some more attention. <laughs> the most important thing here is to avoid single ply. The most important thing here is to avoid single ply. I've stayed at enough cheap hotels to know.
I'm sorry, that probably went back down the mic and sounded horrendous. I apologize. <laughs> and it was yeah, random alien that did it as well. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I also realized that this scene hasn't got the Phantom Alert set up, so he didn't even get to see it. Ha ha. <laughs> That'll teach me trying to derail the stream. I'm not even gonna fix it, just because someone will try and banana anyway, so <laughs> whatever. No, not tonight. Tonight I'm having fun. Not in the mood for that. But thank you anyway, appreciate that. And thank you for the donation as well, man. It's very kind of you. No alert, indeed. No alert, sad face. Well, because it's a brand new overlay, I literally spent hours today sorting out, prepared for this, so that you could get the multiple angles and what we can do when we switch from this bit to the spinning bit. Do you know what? I think we're almost at the point now where I'm going to go, screw it, let's go to the next stage. I don't know how thin it's going to be, though, but... It's going to be so thick. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to wing it. I mean... Well, I could go for ages and ages and ages thinning it out, but like Luther, I think you don't worry about it. Just go, just go on, just go on. All right, all right, just go on. There you go, just go on, guys. It's fine. We're gonna go on. Yeah. Oh my God, there's so much of it. Honestly, this is crazy. Indeed. Um, finish reading the donation. Okay, sorry. I've stayed at enough cheap hotels to know that single ply is woefully inadequate. Bless him. Aww. <laughs> think and wing it. Indeed. Um, Excuse me. Dance, please, Lay. I already did. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Right, let's carry on then. Sure. Okay. Uzi twisted singles. And we are then going to ply them in the S twist got to thin it. I have thin it. As we ply, we are removing twist from the individual singles and applying it to the space between, which holds the two strands together. Too much twist and your yarn will kink up on itself and be hard. Too little twist and your yarn will hang limp and be difficult to work with. And in both cases, God. both over twisted and under twisted, your yarn may be weak. Eventually, you want to experiment to see what types of yarn you can make by applying different amounts of twist to your singles and to your ply. But for now, let's focus just on getting a nice balanced yarn. Yes, let's just focus on one before we start plying things. Putting it all together. Oh god, this is where it's all going to go wrong. I hope it will be eclipsed ready. Now let's put all of those elements together. Let's do that. Crafting our twist and our spindle. So here's my spindle, and I've got my leader yarn. And I'm going to take it and wrap it around our Hold hook. Hold up. Oh. I'm going to make cool. myself about six inches of yarn. Whoa, she did that so quickly. And our spindle. So here's my spindle, and I've got my leader yarn. Liggery yarn. What's it called? What's the reference of the image called? Oh no. It's so thick, he whispers. Um, Luth, what's, what's, what do you recall the, or what did you call the, uh, the, the multicolored string attached to the spindle? You called it something there, my something arm? or? That's the leader yarn. Leader yarn. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yours is all twisted. Should I should I twist it so it's not two individual strands like this? Should I already twist it together? On your video. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right. Okay. Cool. Lovely. That's really loud. Good lord. Silly. How far was it? Wrap it around our hook. How many times did she twist it? She like. Oh, I've gone too far back now. Mm -hmm. And I've got my leader yarn. Right. And I'm gonna take it and wrap it around our hook. And she I just went my... twice round. Yeah, one, two, I think. She would. Okay, I'll do this on stream so that we can see what's going. Okay, so she that length, and then she she got loads less than me. I've got so, tons of this. It's wrapped around underneath the wide part as well. It's wrapped around underneath the wide part as well. What down here? Yeah. Okay. And then she went what round the hook twice like that? Did you see that? Does that look right, Luth? I've gone round. That looks right. You're gonna, you, your shaft is where you store the yarn. So you store part of your leader yarn on the shaft and then you loop it up around the hook, just like what you've got. So I, that, that was correct, that where we're at now is about right. I've got about yes. more than yes, how much. Yes, yes, Okay. 45 minute phone call and Flixer hasn't started to spin. I have started to spin. It's just a different stage of the spinning. It's called pre-drafting actually, smart ass. <laughs> it is me, Warboy. It is me. Um, 
uh, our baby flick, little squish baby. Is that Lutheran? Yes, it is indeed. I said yes. At this rate, Minifit will be spinning the four flicks to... Everyone's... It's always about speed with you people. Why can't it be about quality, you know, time spent, entertainment, relaxation? It's always about quick, get to the finish line. <laughs> um, yes, indeed. Uh, well, we're exclamation mark Lutheran, but obviously you clearly know who the lovely lady is. Anyway, the better half of Raina. Uh, 70, uh, Raina 72. Let's go. Take your time. Train muscle memory. That's like climbing, that is, isn't it? Like muscle memory stuff. Um, well, that's exactly why we spent so long uh, pre-drafting. Yeah. All that pre-drafting is uh, that muscle memory. Okay. Cool. Right. So. So about six inches of yarn up at the top of our spindle. That'll. We're gonna. Well, eight. What? What? So we need, we need. I need this bit of my leader yarn to be six inches. I got way more than six inches. So. Just do a bit more. Even even my male six inches, that's far too much. <sighs> no, I've probably gone far too little. Whoa! <laughs> it's all about quickly getting to the finish line. <laughs> oh, no. Um, it's all about quickly getting to the finish line. That, isn't that just how you ended up with mini flick, Kappa? <laughs> hey, 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 there was nothing quick about the creation of mini flick. Don't throw me into the bus, love. <laughs> That's worse. Should we ask Mrs. Fick about that measurement, Flix? No, no, no. Just take my word for it, guys. I never lied to you, right? Oh, now, see, now I've got less than six inches. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. That'll be twitched as well. Uh, clipped as well. Okay, right. So, once round. No, I've not got enough now. So, there we go. Round once. Wait, what? Is that right? I've gone around twice now? I'm confused. Just wrap it around so that the hook holds it. So if you let it dangle from the, uh, yes, let it dangle. <clears throat> <laughs> See, I got you doing it now. All right, we should probably switch over to, let, 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 let there go. Right, let, me, let me do some like, more. Let's do a thing. Production value. Let's do a quick fade. Way, there you go. All right, so like that, yeah. Something like that. I don't think you can see that. But again, I've got like a front and side position now. When you start spinning, you might want to stand. That, that, that's exercise, standing. Now I've got less than six inches has been added as a quote. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks, Lee. Oh, this is the tip. Quality shaft dangling right there. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know how to use my... Wait, what did they say? That's about six inches. <laughs> Okay, so don't worry, guys. We're nearly halfway. Add twist into, and I'm going to begin by practicing. So I'm just going to hold it up by the leader yarn, and I'm going to give it a quick twist. I've got my thumb and forefinger down here at the base of the spindle. We're just going to give it a flick, just like snapping your fingers. And just like spin snapping your fingers. And unwind. You want to see how much twist your leader yarn will hold and just get a feel for holding the spindle up. The unspin again. Now, when we spin, we are always going to spin in one direction. In my case, I'll be spinning in the clockwise direction, so which will give us a Z twist in oh, our yarn. That's so pretty. If you always that. spin in one oh. direction, it will prevent you from becoming confused and uh, from accidentally spinning in the opposite direction. If you do accidentally spin in the wrong direction, your fiber will come untwisted and you'll end up dropping your spindle. And of course, if that happens, just pick it up and try again. So now that we've given our spindle a few twists, we're going to take our fiber and add it to our leader yarn. So on my leader yarn, I've got a nice little loop here at the top. I'm going to take our fiber and I'm just going to stick it right through that loop and fold it over. Through and fold it help us keep the fiber together whenever we start spinning. Okay. All right. This is certainly one of the more entertaining streams so far this month, Pixar. Thanks a lot. I did very limited streams this month due to life and work, so thanks for that. <laughs> All right. So, Luth, we've... I followed that there. I've, I'm, I'm naturally spinning in a certain direction. Again, I'll hold it to this one here. So I know which way I'm going to spin it. I'm kind of letting it 
slow down naturally. Just add the end. Is there anything I need to know prior to this at this point? Like, uh, just add it and spin. Like, like obviously I'm gonna carry on watching the rest of the video. But what I mean by that is I've got a whole bunch of this. Should I like you know have it in a certain position, hang it down to my left or my right over the shoulder? You know, whatever. It's like it's got to be in a certain way. Uh, um, look at it. It's probably <laughs> one of the. <laughs> One of the best ways is uh, I would throw it over your elbow or over your shoulder so that you don't accidentally spin in the like middle of your fiber into your yarn while you're working with it. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to make it look. I'm gonna throw this over my shoulder. <laughs> I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chain react. There you go. Last, there's nothing unmanly about this. We're all like, we're good. We're locked. Anything that's comfortable that makes not to be tangled. I always did over shoulder. Okay. <laughs> Get out from, yeah, good luck trying to prevent Flixer from becoming confused. Hey, I got this. I got this. I've got a video. I've got live support. I've got manly <laughs> indeed. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. This is very manly. I'm going to move over here. Hopefully the mic still picks up if I do this slight twist there. Now we're more central at this point. And you can see, hopefully... Here, well, look at that. See, you got, you got a front position, and that camera provides a side position. Look at that. High-level fiber art production value here. Balance it on top of your head. I suspect that's not legitimate information and advice. That would be pretty funny. It would be pretty funny, though. I cradled it in the crook of my elbow. There's a whole bunch of it. Okay, let's, just, let's just hook it over. Actually, she's got a point. What if we put a pile of it up here so that there's no pressure? Look at that. Like that bit really thin. This bit's like, oh, I'm about to pull it out. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to go horribly wrong. I'm going to change the bum. Okay. Yes. Mini war turn. No worries. Okay. Wearing that wool like minimalist toga. Oh yeah. I bet again I get I get banned off of Twitch so quickly that much skin. Um, throw it over your shoulder like a continental soldier, indeed. <laughs> uh, his head is so smooth it would have no purchase. <laughs> Cheeky feckers. Right. Come on, Lou. You can you can help me here, right? So. I'm going to. The method that I'm going to be teaching you is called the park and draft method. Park so, and draft. to do this, we're going to give it a spin, let it go until it comes to a stop, but before it starts back winding, stop it, park it between your knees, and then we will draft our fiber then. Well, I'm definitely so, not standing up then. I'm going to give it some twist, let it come to a stop, stop it fully, park it, and then I'm park going it. to draw your attention to my fingers here. My thumb and forefinger have formed a very nice pinch point or twist point. That means that all of my twist is trapped between my fingers and my spindle. None of that twist is getting up into my fiber supply, which is exactly what we want. If you allow twist up into your fiber supply, it will become difficult and near impossible to draft. So you want to keep your twist between these two points. Okay, all right, all right, all right, stop. Right, so again, this is for my reference and for others. So I got, I understand so far, we're creating a, 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 length, a length like this. We're going to twist it on, like, so, like, like you did, spin it up so that it creates the, the tension. You're not letting go of the pinch, which means that the, the, all of the, uh, again, I'll show you here on this closer thing. So it's twisting up really tightly. I then stop it at that point, park it, I get that. Then I guess I'm going to release and it's going to then put the twist into the fiber. I understand that, but surely, surely that's going to pull, when I pull on this, it's going to pull on the fiber and tear apart where I've pre-drafted. Or that just suggests that the pre-draft is too thin. Is that what I'm saying? That's usually if, if it breaks, the your pre-drafting is too thin or you're, you don't have enough twist. Um, not having enough twist is a common cause for it drifting apart. So as long as you're adding enough twist, it should hold together. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. So holding on to our twist point, I'm going to take my fiber supply and I'm going to gently draft it. That's when you draft. And here's where the magic happens. With my twist point, I'm going to slide my fingers 
up that drafted yarn. You're going to slide your fingers up the shaft up into my, up into the to yarn. add twist. Oh, dear God. <laughs> right, so the first bit of my pre-drafting is definitely thin, so I suspect this is going to twist and fall off. So we're going to give it a shot. But yes, keep it on camera because the way the camera is set up, I might actually have to put it higher. No, I wasn't going to put the shoulder after all. So I gotta hold it up here. Cause look how, look how thin, that's already gonna fall out. I can already see that falling out. That's so thin. In fact, I'm, just gonna, I'm not gonna bother that bit. I'm not gonna risk it. That bit can see over there. You're fine, you're fine. Just <laughs> use it. Okay. Put it in, twist it. Right, so we like like a twist thing. Wait, oh, that's the wrong side. Oh, God. <laughs> Right. We get myself a little tears here. There we go. Right, we're good. All right, that's better. We're on this side now. Now I can see what's going on, and you guys can see what's going on. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So, you guys can see here. There's a side view here as well. Am I going to run over the yarn stuff? Oh, no. <laughs> Hold up. Let's try and get ourselves in a mess here. Let's move this over here. I'm going to try it this way and then bring that over. Much better. Okay, cool. Right. Now we're good. No, we're not good. We're not good. We're not good. It pulled. That's better. <laughs> right. So is this the bit where I'm going to give it a shot? Are we going to try this? Is this it? Is this, is this the point? This is the point. Oh god. Right, okay. So I'm gonna twist it as much as I can. Like I, I keep firing it up. There we go. Okay, now I gotta I've gotta twist it as tight as I can. So now I gotta do a, a park it thing. There. Stops it from spinning. Oh you can't see this. Um <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure I can park it there. Give me a second. Let me try this once with my knees, then I'll try and get creative. Alright, so you twisted it, then you did a, a, a draft, but we've already kind of pre-drafted sort of thing. And you said you're going to switch fingers, hold like this much. There's so much here. This is so thick. Here's where the drafting comes in. Yeah. So you're going to gently draft it a bit more while you're holding it. Yeah, as you're doing it, and then slide your fingers up and let the twist up into your fiber. Uh, this feels so okay. Like that. And then, do I, I do I literally give any pressure, or do I just let the twist through? Like, can I kind of almost let go, or do I have to? As you you want to keep the. Tw you want to keep what? Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to gesture again. <laughs> Okay, so you want to keep the twist below your fingers. So you don't want to let any of that twist up into your fiber supply. When you slide your fingers up, you're going to slowly be letting that twist up along the, uh, the fibers. But don't let it up into your fiber supply. Uh, I think that's right. <laughs> That looks like yarn to me. Why am I so scared? Don't let go, slide back. Okay. I mean, it's still part, but there's a whole bunch of tension on the yarn still. Let me, okay, let me rephrase that. The, the, the leader yarn has still got a load of twists already in it. That's okay, there will be some twists left over in the leader yarn um, because it's gonna be twisted, hopefully to the same amount that your yarn is twisted to. So how far back do I go now? Because obviously I could potentially. Well, uh, it's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, sorry, I'll put it up in, a, in the other bit camera in a minute. Because now I but feel like this bit's not spinning twist. as much. Uh, I'll give a second. Let's move this, I'm keeping the tension on it as best I can. Uh, give me a second. There we are. How do I even show this? Yeah, so I've let it kind of go loose now. Where I left lost the tension, I think. Mm, 
Yeah, see that was that was so tight there, where I left it. Look, it's unthreaded slightly. Can you see that or not there? So this bit's nice and thin, and then it goes thicker where I moved to show you in the camera, unfortunately. <laughs> but never mind. Well, in your very first yarn, it will be thick and thin. Um, okay. That's just the it. That's what happens when you learn how to spin yarn. My first yarn was thick and thin too. Um, we call that art yarn. It is not <laughs> messed up. And in fact, it's really funny, once you get good at that nice thin yarn that I was talking about, um, this is the yarn that you can't replicate. Really? It is very hard to get yarn that's similar to a beginner yarn. Okay. Oh man, if you let go at now, all. It... Do, you, do you want the technical explanation of how much uh, twist that you need in there? Um, go for it. You know, it's an educational thing as well. So, all right. If you if you are looking at the angle of the twist, so looking at the actual yarn that you've made, mm -hmm. the angle of the twist should be if if you had a ninety degree angle, it should be right between forty five and sixty degrees. Oh, okay. As in traveling up the yarn. Right. So that that Z or that S that you've got there, it'll be at the shaft of the Z will be at the um, at, at the 45 to 60 degree angle. Okay. That's crazy. The moment I let any tension go, it just kind of unravels though. I think unfortunately I, I, I should have gone ahead and figured out what the next bit was because what I mean by that is, whilst that looks like yarn, if I let, if I unpark this and move about, watch that, like the yarn, see it go tight and thin. You can literally see it on the main camera. I don't know. I can show you down here, but there you go. Look, it's gone now. But if I tighten it back up again, like that's tight, but you can see it goes thick and thin. But then if I let go, well, and that's what mm. we mean by storing twists too. As you let it go, you're letting the twist release. Yep, that's it exactly. Okay. Um, draft more. Okay. Every time Luther says she's gesturing, think about what's happening. Oh, I'm Team America. <laughs> um, you have to learn to spin through thick and thin. Would be spamming, let's do the twist. Yeah, actually, it's really hard to get thick and thin again once you've spun frog hair, which is, the, I guess, I assume is a thinner, more consistent. Um, the yarn equivalent to a goblin green base. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And a rich paint or all services. Exactly. This is scrub level noob spinning. Okay. I like the twist energy is plying itself. Okay, right. So, this is the bit where I, I wish I'd learned, gone ahead on the video, because now I've done this, I'm kind of stuck in a what's next bit, because obviously I can't twist it again. I mean, I could stop this, remove this bit, try again from beginning, but I've got twist all up in the leading right. yarn as well. Here, here's what you do. You take it off of the hook and then wrap it around the shaft and store it on the shaft and give yourself the same about six inches worth of yarn to uh, start oh. the next section with. Okay. So, I'm, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so again, I um, should be done with the camera. Okay, so, and then I, I use my actual yarn on the hook now. Yes, that's correct. Like that, and then do the same thing. But now I've got I'll lose the twist, or is it constant twisting? Oh no, I guess I won't because this bit won't have as much tensile under it. Okay. Yep, and then you would spin and draft the next section. Ah, light bulb. Right, okay. Right, so hold this. Oh, you can't see it because, oh my god, this is a. How do I move this to a situation where this makes more sense now? Hold up, let me think about this from a camera perspective. I can't park it on that screen. There you go, we'll have to stand up. Then I can park it under my shoulder? Yeah, we'll do that. There you go. And let's do it under this one. <laughs> Cameras, hold up one second. Let's try and switch this up. Let's put this. How do I... I could do it with left hand, I suppose. Right handed. Mm, let's go over here. Yoink, yoink, yoink. So I'm going to lose the bottom camera, unfortunately. Stand up. If I stand up, honestly, look. Where am I going to put this? If I park this down here, there will be so many clips of me for the wrong reasons. There we go. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to do it this way. There we go. Show the belly. 
<laughs> well, I just realised that camera is now crotch cam. Look how much I don't go to the gym. <laughs> Uh, all right. So I'm just doing some drafting now. He says, like he knows what he's on about. Hold the twist in this, so park that, and then I'm gonna hopefully pinch this here and release the twist down. Holy crap! It's working! It's working! All right, cool. So that made a thing. Let's put this onto the arts and crafts one. I'm holding it tight actually looks fairly legit so I guess now I unhook holding the tension wrap more yep like you this. got it oh my god it's thick and thin that's for damn sure right round there twice uh, this is the bit I'm going to suck at now it's giving bagpipe lessons at the same time yeah that's what it feels like man Oh, I've not given myself enough here to actually do the twist bit. God, how do you do this whilst chatting and streaming and keeping up with chat and... Blimey. Alright, so... <laughs> it's such a... a give it build, give whoa! It give it double time and time. <laughs> the crap out of me! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was so focusing so much. Who was that? Painting Stingray. Thank you so much, man. Welcome. How are you? <laughs> I won't I won't forget to spin, don't worry. I'm gonna spin it out the same way. <laughs> oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Alright, I can do this sitting down kind of now. I've pre-drafted this bit. You join us, Stingray. I don't know how long you've been watching, dude, but this, yeah, as you can see, this is not a standard mini painting stream. I'm doing some fiber art attempts for the first time. Oh my god, this is weird doing it in this direction. There. With Lutherian, lovely lady, better half of uh, Rainer72, our friend from Miniature Painting. Are you hand twisting it or flicking it to let it spin? I'm flicking it to let it spin and catching it at the top. Just got on. Looked like a hand twist. Oh, okay. Uh, let, me, let me show you what I did in a minute. Right, let me just park this a bit more so that it goes a bit further. I feel like this could go a bit further. Okay. It's not thick and thin. Much. Need to leave six inches so that this can hook and twist. Um, right, yeah, so what I was saying, sorry, we, we are, we're learning to spin with Lutherian, who's a fiber artist streamer here on Twitch, a uh, friend of ours, friend of the stream, other half of Rainer72. She subscribed at 24.99 when we were trying to get our all of our emotes and hit 250 sub points um, way back when. Uh, and as part of her reward because we weren't here for the money we were simply trying to get the emotes i decided i'd give everyone half an hour of my time for each month or you could save up four months for a commission she decided obviously she was not interested in a commission being the other half of Rainer, who is more than able himself um to use this to send me a fiber arts kit and we have this stream tonight which is learning how to do or at least trying to do what they do over in fiber arts all the time and learn to spin wool into yarn and I'm kind of getting it, but it's it's pretty horrendous. But we're getting there. We're getting there. So we've got a, a bunch on the on the spindle already, and we're spinning the other ones. So I am twisting it, but I'm doing multiple twists, and then I'm catching it at the highest top, parking it. Normally I park it when I'm standing up under my armpit, but because I'm trying once again, and then you basically allow the twist up the yarn. Oh god, that's gone really thin. I think to there. Oh no. Now I've got a problem. Now here's a good. I'm about to hit an issue where I've got extra fluff. Loof. What I mean by that is, I will. Let me, let me park this. Or rather, put this onto the spindle, whatever the right term is. There we go. Give me yourself six inches. There we go. About there. Whoa! <laughs> 
Oh god. Just a little more mother to son encouragement. Soon you'll be knitting with the yarn. <laughs> so if you haven't guessed, that of course is my real mother. Gang and Tuella, thank you so much for that subscription, Mum. <laughs> Appreciated. Once again, your 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 finest eldest and first child is, is obviously doing you very proud on the internet right now. As uh, the most manliest thing he's ever done. <laughs> You could, knock to flick swam. Yeah. you could probably knock the volume of that alert down about a 15% flick. I probably could, only I have no idea how to. I, I can, and if I do that, I'll learn all the desktop stuff. But I'll tell you what I can do, actually. I can do that. That might work for the next sub if we get one or the next host or follow. We'll see. We'll try it. But yeah, that, that, that's my mother. And thank you so much for that. Appreciate it, of course. Um, and hype, indeed. <laughs> Spinning and knitting used to be male professions. I did not know that. Really? That is true. Really? What, are we talking like monks and scholars? Kind of style? Not scholars, but you know, like... No, it's, it's, it was actually a craft profession that knitting, crochet, um, and fiber arts in general were um, men wor men's work, uh, depending on the culture. But in uh, European medieval culture, uh, it, it was men's work. Oh, wow. Well... I apologize for <laughs> not realizing that. That's cool. Again, though, that's probably, if we're going to have a, a, a history lesson, it probably harks back to when you know, the females considered simply you know, like domestic and, and looked after children and fed and, and, and cooked, sorry. And, I don't know. But yeah, it's either way. That's cool. All right. I'm going to try and blag my way through this bit as I release. I'm going to get this thick to thin again. There's nothing I can do here. But I'm just trying to incorporate the extra bit that I think is here. I think there. Yeah, look. See, I'm losing the twist. There's a thick bit there. And I knew that was coming. Okay. It's not too bad. We'll, we'll carry on. The problem I've got now is this is such a long piece. I'm committed now to doing this to probably finish this piece off. Like, that's a good point, actually. So what do you do about potentially taking a break? Uh, what I mean by that is if you've got a long piece and you're trying to keep the consistency, do you have, like, a clamp or something, perhaps? Or I, I would just wrap it around the hook and store the twist on the hook. Wrap it around the... Tw the, uh, the hook that you've got there? Yeah. You, you wrap it around to hold it. But I will, what I would do is I would take it, wrap it maybe three or four times so that it holds it, and then I set that down. Um, that will hold the twist below the hook. Really? Okay. So I didn't do any pre... I need to do some pre-drafting now because the twist's gone into the yarn slightly. Check me out. I'm not, like, I know what I'm doing here. So I felt like the twist went out, but I didn't hook it old enough. And I, the, I can see that this bit's slightly twisted when it shouldn't be. Which, as you said, makes it harder to draft because the fibers are then grabbing each other, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a professional already. Got this on. Oh, I got this on lock. I told you you got this. <laughs> Trust in the teacher. Okay, so. I need to pre draft this bit again. This, this draft. So now this. I guess this isn't pre drafting. This is drafting because I'm doing it whilst doing the spinning, right? Yes. Right. So we've not bought, we're not pre-boarding now, we're actually boarding. I get it. <laughs> okay, so... You're this... shaking hands with the captain. <laughs> I like it. Cool, thank you. All right. Um, who ordered seagulls? Wait, what? <laughs> Can you hear that? Did you hear that? Were there seagulls in the background that came through on stream? Holy... Crazy. All right, so again, I think unfortunately I let go of the yarn too much. So after being cocky about having this, I think I've now not got this. I feel like I've lost some of the thing. Let's try again. Again, I'm sorry if I'm off camera. I had all the cameras set up and then found out that actually it's not as well. I'm holding it down here, so it's like basically off stream. So if I stand up, I've got nowhere to park it fully. Like I said, I tried to hold this here and park it under here and do this, but I don't know. If that's even a thing. 
And when you sp spin it, Flick, give it a good spin and let it go. Let it spin on its own. Let it spin on its own? I feel like it's under a lot of tension. I don't think it will spin for that long or that high if I did that. It, it will be under a bit of tension, but let it go and let it spin until it comes to a stop on its own. Okay. So like if I let, if I let go now, for example, it's going to unspin. It's going to go the other way. Okay, so like that's it going the other way. So if I you want me to literally spin it, woo! Okay, yeah, protecting it of course. Do it one more time. Oh, I see. That's right. So it's catching it just as it stops. I missed it like then. Okay. All right. All right. Trust us, says Hannah. I know. I know. I'm trying. Oh, 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 hello. I got way too thick there. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> that's a little, that, yeah. Um, damn, right. So how do I how do I finish one <laughs> when you tear it by accident? What's the next step? All right. So this is what I meant about time to connect it. So you're still holding the twist below your fingers, right? Yeah. All right, and you've got a nice fluffy bit above your fingers, correct? Yeah. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to take your fiber supply and overlap it with the fluff that's above your fingers. Overlap it. Overlap it. Once you've overlapped it, you'll be able to draft that part together. And you'll be able to let twist into it. And once you let twist into it, it'll hold together. I'm scared. Okay, great. I'm just doing a, whatever you want drafting, pre-drafting now, I, I, I don't know. Okay, so I am going to literally put that on top of that, yeah? Like, like okay, I'm going to try and do this in some way you guys can see. Shit, this adds a bit more complexity to it. Okay, so in this camera here. So I've got the fluff here, and I'm literally going to place them together like that. I yep, guess I need you to got go it. Than that. Let's do it thinner than that. Let's do it up here. But then if I do this, when I run my fingers up the thread, it's, I'm gonna, it's gonna put, like, if I do that, it's gonna push away that piece, isn't it? Only if you're gripping it like you're strangling it. What? Mm. Okay, all right. Only if you're gripping it like you're strangling it. Just hold it gently, treat it like you were treating it before, and trust in the fiber. I'm scared. I don't think it's working. I don't think I'm doing this correctly. Oh, let go. Idiot. Sorry, I didn't. That was just a moment of stupidity. I just let go with one other hand without thinking about it. I think the joint's still there. So, what I'm going to do, this isn't. We're, we're not in crisis mode just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to retwist this bit. This bit's fine. So let's add that there, bring this in closer. Twist this here. Okay. I'm making a pickle of this. Let's go over the camera a second, guys. Bear with me, sorry. So treat it like you're, you're spinning yarn. You want to uh, add some twist to the spindle. And then you're going to slowly let that twist up through that section that you drafted. Really tight now. I'm gonna slowly let that bit. I don't know if that's worked or not. It might have done, but it's got like.
little bit pocket there, and go a bit further, because there's so much pressure under this bit. Oh my god, I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of done it, but I got this weird fluffy bit in the middle. <laughs> so, it's joined, and then I've got this incredible... Oh, we've got a follow. Did I miss a follow? I love this show. True Ezra, thank you for the follow, and uh, Lime Faniel, thank you for the follow as well. I apologise whilst I was doing this. All right, so the joins worked, but I have what I can only describe as a fluffy bit in it now. I'm going to say don't worry about that, that for now. That's something that'll get easier the more you do it, but don't worry about it right now. It's, right. It's, it's an artistic element. Ah, yes, yes. It's, it's a signature part of my style of yarn. If you purchase from Flixer's Yarn Emporium, you might get the occasional fluffy part. That's fine. We, we're all right with that. High tensile strength as well. Right. I think the bit that's confusing me is obviously there's already twist in the yarn and then what I'm doing then is adding more twist and it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like it should work, but it is kind of Basically, work. you're storing more twists than the yarn wants to hold on its own so that when you slide your hand up into the fiber supply, that uh, energy is moving up the fiber. And I've let the twist go somewhat into this by accident, but I, I felt like I had to in order to keep the strength of this bit. <sighs> okay, so let's carry on with doing this. It's interesting actually because you can't. It's very hard to fix. I'm finding this as well. It's very hard to fix. Um, how do I explain it? It's very hard to fix a bit that's fat because if you add it, uh, if you twist. Oh. Sanjin! Oh god, Sanjin's here guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for the host, man. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Welcome everybody in. You join me as I fail miserably trying to learn how to do this thing called spinning. I'm, I'm turning wool into yarn with the assistance of Lutherian, who joins me live here on Discord, as well as we are watching her video, as you can see over there in my overlay, which I'm pointing the wrong direction. I mean, it's that way somewhere. There you go. She's over there for me. <laughs> And uh, May Jester, once we uh, have some singles yarn, we will ply it together to make a two ply that can then be turned into something. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, so that's where we get. There's obviously, the, uh, hopefully, you guys can see. I'll show you this bit there. There you go. Turn that way. There's already a bunch on there of horrendous flip, quality. Yes. I'm going to do something horrible to you. I, uh, I just finished up a bobbin, and I need to go grab a bobbin, so I will be back in just a moment. I am, I am leaving you on your own for a moment. Okay. I'll miss you. Okay, well, we, we aren't joined live by Lefarian anymore. She's left me in the lurch. We've just got the digital representation of Lefarian via YouTube video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to her lovely voice uh, for comforting reasons. I'm drafting this now, apparently. This is called drafting. Where I'm pulling oh, too much. I'm pulling slightly too much. It's fine. I'm pulling too much. It's all good. We can, we can wrap that back in. We can join it back in again. Let the twist go. Into here. Wishes he had some popcorn for the best comedy stream on Twitch. It's an educational stream, Desartes. Come on now, man. You're here to learn. This is Sunday evening learning, okay? This is what we're learning here. Look, 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 see? We're making yarn. Or a mess, or whatever you want to call it. It's fine. Totally got a bowl of everything explode? Nothing exploded. Nothing exploded. We survived. We did, we did a bit of drafting that turned to a little bit of a whoops. I pulled it too much moment. But other than that, we're good. And we're definitely still going with thick and thin, but I think that's more to do with the draft than it is to do with oh, the amount of spin I'm doing. What do you do once you've loaded your spin? I was going to say, I'm trying to spin along with you. <laughs> and, uh, you can't keep I up with up my first bob. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is I'm, I'm really slow. Is that what you're saying? And I'm sure most of the people who watch me, that will be unsurprising. Maybe I'm just really fast. Maybe, maybe. 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 I'm going to suspect, though, that realistically it's a combination of both these things. Dalra, 
cards or anything. Oh that God. You can wind yarn on You're way ahead of me. I'm going to pause the video. She, you've got like a millions of, of yarn that looks like yarn and uh, mini flicks back. Drafting or drafting? I keep thinking of beer. I keep thinking of drafts the game. I don't quite know why. But it is drafting as in NFL draft, go sports. It's that kind of draft. See, I think the bit I'm str struggling with technique-wise is when you said um, keep it, uh, I'll it, slide up this bit, the yarn, yeah, slide up the shaft or whatever, up, up the yarn, uh, leaving the fluff behind, but not enough that you're choking it, but pressure. And if I, if I don't put enough pressure on, the twist goes into the, the fiber or the supply, whatever you want to call it. Well, I'm finding if I don't strangle it, so to speak, it is actually going into the fiber. So am I not giving well, enough pressure? When I, when I say don't strangle it, I mean when, when you're drafting and when you're um, making your changes to the fiber source. Uh, you want to keep that pinch point that you have and keep it solid because you do want to make sure that the twist stays below your fingers. Um, but when you're drafting, hold the fiber source gently, tug gently, otherwise you're going to end up pulling it apart. Otherwise you're going to end up, sorry, what, pulling? Pulling it apart, um, letting it drift apart. God damn, this bit's gone really thick. Welcome, Mrs. and Mini Flick, back to the stream. Hello. <laughs> she even did something as well. Okay, so this is going to be a result of, again, you got doing drafting whilst spinning, is the bit that I'm going to also struggle with on the basis that there's also so much twist energy, as you said, in the actual... Oh, there you go. Is that right? Yeah. So I've got it parked. There's still twist in there. But this is clearly all over the shop. Look at it. They're like... So I, I want to try and... Whatever you want to call it. Draft it. Pre-draft it. Thin it out somehow. But I have to let... I can't let go of that pinch. So I'm like holding on to a pinch whilst trying to do the other bit. Yeah, you professionals. It's one of those things that really is you're doing a million things at once, but that's. It, and you say men you used to do this? Gets. Million things at once, and blokes used to do this. I think you're fibbing. Oh, I think you have me, have me on, pulling my leg. Blokes used to do this. I can't multitask. I find drinking and changing the channel are tough. Okay. You got this, Blake. You got this. <laughs> Far too much faith in me, woman. <laughs> Just because your other half can do it. That's a good point. Can your other half do this? Has Rainer had a go at this? Rainer does not spin. But oh. he knows enough terminology to have a conversation about it. Okay. So he listens enough to get away with... with, with <laughs> he understands what you're saying. Uh-huh, love. Yeah, uh-huh. Stop drinking Pretty from the TV remote flick. <laughs> These are the struggles I have, ladies. You don't understand. <laughs> That's curious. Is there a reason why uh, Rainer hasn't had a go at this then? It's just not his thing. He's not interested in it. And uh, he's interested in the science-y parts because I, I get really into the technical stuff. So he gets into the technical stuff and has technical conversations with me. But as far as the actual spinning, it's just not his thing. But if we were to say do a charity stream or some reason that he couldn't really say no to you teaching him? He'd probably say no. Oh, would this cause domestic problems? <laughs> <laughs> with heavy conversations. <laughs> well, we, we did almost break up over a video game, so. No, see, that's different. No, see, that, that's, that's serious business. I'm all right with that. We've, we've had serious conversations in this household about video games. Well, serious on your side. <laughs> serious on my side. Yeah, my side <laughs> tends to go, uh-huh, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, which I know as you're wrong, but I'm not going to argue with you. I know that. Mini flick, we do. She trying to talk to It was not wow, Lethius. Was it wow? <laughs> it was a, it was a, that puzzle game, Catherine. Oh wow. Catherine. 
we solve puzzles very differently. We'll just put it that. <laughs> to be fair, you and, you and I would probably be the same. Yeah, that's true. We have very different ways of approaching things. I do it logically, you do it wrong. Indeed. <laughs> I'm in so much trouble for that joke after the stream, by the way, guys. If you don't hear from me again, if the stream tomorrow doesn't happen, send help. <laughs> You'll be beyond help by then. <laughs> Your face on the camera showed me that. Cathedral with sheep. Oh, look at Raina's face, so full of banana rage. I'm um, hand spinning it again. I know that Hannah and Lathe, but oh, no, Lathe, Hannah and Luth both said, "Let go, trust the fiber." And I'm like, "No, it's too thick and everywhere." This is just gonna untwist the moment. I can just see it. Oh my god. This needs drafting for sure. It's far too thick. This is the bit that sucks though. I've let the twist. Alright, this is a fail that I suppose you expect from an, a first timer doing this. So I've let the twist go into the fibre itself. So the fibre is now fully twisted, which means drafting is impossible. I am looking like a cat's attacked me with the amount of fluff all over me currently. So I'm going to try and thin this enough that it doesn't break oh, which is risky but equally so it's not so thick so I know what I'm supposed to do the ability to do it though does not come as easy as talking about it okay, that seems to be better <gasps> it's gonna rip, it's gonna rip, don't, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip oh, oh. God. don't starve, yeah that one as well Quick, find a game about a healthy, long life and happiness. <laughs> That's it, yeah. By the way, I am airbrush priming an ad mech while watching you. The hobby streams are crossed over. Indeed, Hannah. <laughs> What's going on? It's like Freaky Friday. But on a Sunday. Oh, this is going horribly wrong. This is definitely going horribly wrong. I'm already mad at myself. Shit. How do I, how do I fix this? <laughs> I've got a flat, look, it's gone like fat thin. It's gone all... Oh, it's barbaric. It's horrendous. I'm going up. It looks fine. We said it's going to be art yarn. Art yarn. That's, even that's offensive to art yarn around the world. This is offensive to yarn in general. Shite. Alright, I think the problem I've got now is that... I'm going to put this up here. Do you mind? Burbling away. She's chatting to the elephant, leave her alone. She's chatting to the elephant? Yeah. There's an elephant, it's there, she's chatting. There you go, you can see Mini Flick now, the, the true star of the show. Don't cross the streams, that's a valid point, don't cross the streams. God damn it, it's definitely art, yeah, that's for sure. That's pretty funny. I've got an extra bit of fluff. Can I get rid of the fluff? Oh, I can get rid of the fluff. Yeah. That is horrendously unspun halfway down this. Okay, I'm getting a little bit banana ragey right now. I don't know what to do next. Because the next bit of the video is Livarian holding like an entire thing of beautifully spun thin yarn and does not look like the car crash which is currently on mine. The cat wouldn't consider this yarn. Exactly. Ow, ow. I came here expecting 420 glazer in your spinning yarn. Yeah, well, this is what happens when you leave us for so long. We didn't know what to do with ourselves. That's the problem. Later, it was all your fault, mate. I, I've given up on miniatures. I've given up on glazing. Here we are. Fiber arts. It's the new way forward. I found my calling. It's in using the hair of a sheep <laughs> oh god okay this seems to be turning into something called a hybrid yoga 
Spinning through. Oh, because I'm, I'm, oh yeah, well, well, I'm twisting. I'm trying to make it higher so you guys can see what's going on. I had this beautiful overlay and realized that actually the actual art of spinning this, there's no way I can use this screen over here. But like, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to do. I mean, we could go to, I suppose we could go to full screen, but then you can't see the Therian's video. So give me a second and we're nearly there. Right, so this now needs to go to here-ish. So I, I'm trying to pinch. I've lost all the twist energy out of this. So I need to fully twist it to the top, park it. Oh, I can't park it. Oh. Just parking it stuff. And then slide up the length of the yarn, releasing the twist slightly. There we go. And art yarn it. This is all right. <laughs> Leave PSS if you're able to uh, angle your main camera down slightly. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get a wee bit more mini flip as well, I suppose. Bonus. Ready? Is that better? Oh, that's way better. Just not mildly crotch level. There we go. I'll do. Can get away with that. Not full crotch. We're not full crotch action. Okay, so I'm going to go up to here. <laughs> uh, life is hard, Ella. When your father's on the internet learning how to do new crafts. See, that's not too bad, that bit works. Again, like random fluff bit. What's this about? Put it this way, I would not use this in the safety of someone's life to hang off of. <laughs> if Tarzan found this. Oh, the twist's gone up the frickin' thingy again. Oh, fail. And if the apocalypse comes, guess what? You'll be able to make your own clothes. <laughs> Wait, what? Clothes? <laughs> really thick, woolly ones. What? You just cry the thought. Hey, nuclear winter. <laughs> yeah, I suppose there is that. Um, where are you going to get Mrs. Flick to have a go? Decided. Yes, I am. So, Mrs. Flick in the background, you probably can't see, but so you have to bring the purple in. She has already pre-drafted a whole bunch of purple stuff. So we're going to swap seats, and I'm going to play Daddy Flick in a minute. But we're near the end now. But this. Oh, this we have to swap seats. Yeah. yeah. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, God. Um, but this uh, piece of wool, or yeah, wool was a bit longer than expected. Now, I'm getting to bits now where I'm going to draft as I go. And obviously, this isn't a quick thing. so it's, I mean, yes, it's quick if you are better than me, but I'm learning. This is my first ever go at it. I haven't drafted very well. I'm letting the twist go into the fibers, which makes it even harder. So there's many things that are slowing me down, but also there's a significant amount of... Uh, fiber here as well. Hello. So you can see me pulling it as I go. Hello. Making it slightly longer, slightly thinner. And again, I'm sure Luthor can <laughs> give proper terminology, but I'm stretching it out basically, making it thinner. It's called drafting. or I guess this is still classed as drafting. I've gone slightly further ahead than the, spin, the spindle and the spinner. But if you're doing it before you start pre-draft, it's called pre-drafting. If you're doing it during spinning, it's called drafting. I believe that's understood. Oh god, don't get it hooked up. There we go. Um, thick enough to block radiation. Oh, the cold. Yeah, that too. Thick enough to block raptor claws. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is, all the thi this is manly yarn. That's what this is, guys. This is manly yarn. Strong. Durable protect you from the elements if those elements had claws for example so are they saying that you're making woolen chainmail i'm basically making woolen chainmail it's it's no no actually that's not fair it's the chainmail because like chainmail has some level of what's another thing look at this so have i done this too much now what that's i mean by too tight too tight because like, it pulls in that's what your video was saying about it being too tight look so, ah, that's a too tight bit. Right, so, okay, so that's too tight. Yep, uh, looks like that's so kinking up on you. So how do I... No, you've got kinky wool. 
Let un- some of that twist up. How do I untwist this then? How do I unkink it? Do I just let it go and come back up? I draft some more fiber and let that twist up into to new yarn. Let that twist up, right. A lot of it here. Okay. How do I let that get up? Wait. There you go. Like the most unprofessional way of doing it ever. It's working. We've got like 12 people watching at this point going, what is this guy doing? <laughs> I don't even know how many people are watching. A wig. Our oh, Grendler's in. Here he is. Yeah. Proud of this moment, I'm sure. It's still kinking up, man. Just this one bit. With my kinky wool. <laughs> Yeah. Was that a sympathy laugh? Okay. Oh. I mean, I don't know if it's kinking up now. It's twisting, but it's not kinking. It's just. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. Should I worry about this? I'm not going to worry about this. I'm just going to crack on. It's fine. We're going to use the flickster. It's fine moment to go. Nah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so again. Yeah. Like that going. You can see how it's already started to twist. It's gone up where I released the twist too early. Oh, you're on. It's now gone up. Oh no! What's that? That's him. No, 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 that looks like a hungry baby. Yeah. What's just happened, dude? Did she? Much now, like, far too much there. So, Flick, are you done with painting and now doing fiber art stream? Now, I'm, I'm about as fast and as good at fiber arts as I am at painting, guys. So, I'm pretty much going to quit both things. We're, we're going to go to a uh, full time IRL stream and we're just going to chat and do, do parenting. Basically, the only thing I'm, that I can do at any speed. Or talking. We could just talk. I can talk. Chatting, you can do at speed. That's chatting, I definitely can do at speed. There's one thing I can do is be. I'll tell you what, whatever. It, I don't want to get this off. I got this off the spindle at some point. Yeah. Oh, that's what you want the cardboard thing for. I bet. Before we came on air, Varian asked me to grab something of cardboard, a tube or someone, and I'm guessing that's what it's for. It's taking it off. That's it exactly. Oh God. Oh, I've got like, the manliest piece of cardboard tubing you'll ever see. <laughs> You'll see it. It's beautiful. Right, I'm gonna let the twist out even further now. There you go. Why are you smushing your face? Why are you smushing your face? Why are you smushing your what? Face into the side. She's doing that weird face rubbing thing. Oh yeah. Let's see. Have you gotten about halfway through the fiber? <laughs> Yes, and some actually. All right, go ahead and stop there and t- break off your fiber. And we're going to wind that onto your tube, and then you're going to spin the rest of the fiber onto your spindle. We're going to do another set, basically, two separate thingies. Yes. Okay. Is this the, we're going to give up on the first go now. <laughs> we're going we're to call this done and move on. This way you have two separate yarns that we can then fly together. Oh, I see. Well, I thought potentially we could do the same thing, but with, uh, with Alexander, with Lexi's uh, purple, and we could spin the white and the purple together. Make oh, sure. Look... Yeah, if you want to do that, rock and roll. Make it look pretty. Go on, look all party. Maybe I should give us some more boots. Yeah. Quickly. 
Otherwise, we're going to get windy winge. Okay, so I'm at the place where now I've got like a little paintbrush, ponytail, whatever you want to call it at the end. Is just that like, just it? Do you have to do something to it? Tie a knot in it? Is there some way of ending it? Or Let the twist all the way to the end. And uh, you, you're going to want to hold the tension at the tip because it's going to... That entire um, thing of yarn is under tension. It will be under tension until it is plied with another yarn. Okay. Too much. Okay, so again, it's gonna. If I let go, it will spin itself out. So, purple and white, fucking what? Purple and white, indeed. Purple and white Pringles. What? Please never say Pringles once you pop. I'm going in. Okay, so I'm, I've, I've got tension on the end, all that kind of jazz. Wait, I've got tension on the end. I'm holding on to the tip, just the tip. Do I. All right, do you have. Mm -hmm. Go. Do, do you have your uh, cardboard tube or your uh, whatever it is handy? My manly uh, Avalor whiskey. <laughs> yeah, that. Right. All right. So I'm just, right, just going to wrap it around that and undo it from the spindle. Is that? Oh, God, that's. Wait, 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 wait. It's far too thick now. Oh, my God. Hold up. Preempt. It's untwisted. Out to the tip, you said. There we go. And then I'm just going to unwrap this around this, yeah? Yep, just uh, start with the tip, and then you're going to wrap the spindle all the way around until you've uh, wound all of that yarn onto the your manly tube. <laughs> My manly tube. That was amazingly American as well. I love it. Oh my god, this is an embarrassment. Well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, newfound respect for the actually doing this though. Jesus, trying to do this and make it smooth throughout the whole way, make it consistent, keeping the same amount of twist. I, it started so oh hello, started so thin and it ended up so thick. <laughs> and tuck it under as well. I should have done that. Put that away. Okay, so do I cut it off the end of this bit here or? If you unwind a little bit of the twist right near the leader yarn, you should be able to just pull it off of your leader. Because we only folded it over. Right. I did it. That'll do. Right. It looks more like dreadlocks than yarn, I'll be honest. <laughs> okay. From flicks his shaft onto his manly tube. Oh yeah. It's like the innuendo is intentional. Glorious. Okay, there you go. I've got some stuff. Let's let's do some a bit of a. Yeah, I was gonna say, think about who does this crap. It's it's just a bunch of dirty old women. <laughs> God damn! There you go. So there's my uh, move this other way. Move that over there. So this is my. Slightly larger, slightly thinner, slightly larger, mildly thinner, terribly tiny, but <laughs> pile of, of dreadlock on my manly Avalor Scottish Highland whiskey malt single, uh, single whiskey, which is a gift to me from last night's wedding. <laughs> Boy, that looks delicious. Oh, 
Yeah, I, I tell you what, it's looking right rewarding right now. I'm kind of appealing to try some. Okay, anyway, right, so that's that bit done. So we're going to do the same thing again so with the what? purple. Guess what? Yeah? What? You just made yarn. Yay! <laughs> Go me! Um, but there's so many fiber arts people right now face palming, and there's a bunch of failfish going, God! This is, this is the, this is the uh, publicity and, and promotion I'm giving you guys in fiber arts and creative. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> there you go. Not too bad. I did it. <laughs> Just a tip indeed. Can it really be called yarn? I'm not sure it can be called yarn. Certainly not sure. I'm going to call that a successful singles yarn. <laughs> Well, I'll take that. The, word, the fact that you said the word success in there, I'm going to take that. That's <laughs> all right. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same setup. Start up with the purple, which my wife has drafted. I'm going to start the first part for her, and then she's going to take over. Much to her dismay, probably. Mm. Once she's finished feeding the, the young one. Um, I may never. is space side, not Highland. All right. Sorry, Mugen. Go on. There's always one in there. Hi. Technically. Technically. Highland Speyside, all right? It says there, Abelor Distillery, Scotland. Highland Speyside, Age Malt. Screw you. Just saying. <laughs> How old is your sweet princess? I was corrected this morning in saying seven weeks when I called her six weeks. She was born May 13th. So yeah, she's a, uh, Ella is seven weeks old. So her birthday is the day after mine. Oh, is it really? Your your birthday is the day before Top Gun Day. Bet you didn't know that nerd fact. There you go. <laughs> I didn't, but uh, Rainer probably does. <laughs> yeah, he does. I probably told him about it. Flick is going to convert all the mini painters now. That's it. I'm going to start paint bottle throwers. It's going to become yarn spinners, I guess, or something. I'll rename it. Grendel will never know, even though the fact he's kind of in the chat now. I hope you start saying months next week. Yeah, well, when she's two months, she'll be two months. Currently, she's one month and three weeks. Who says that? So she's currently seven. Yarn spindle throwers. This is true. Right, which, which one you pulled? Was it this one? Both of them are drafted. Or pre-drafted. Both of them are pre-drafted. Check my wife out. See, it's definitely a chick's thing. She, she knows all the, all the, all the thing before. Right, so this is purple. We can't really see it. It's actually much more of a rich purple. The colour correction is a, bit, a wee bit out on this bit, it seems. I haven't done that much of the production value on it. Okay, so I guess yarn skein spinners. I don't know, maybe. Um, again, if I've missed anyone, if there was follows or hosts or subs, I'm all subs I should catch. But if I missed a follow, I apologise. Obviously, I'm trying to concentrate on this as well. Hopefully you are having fun. Of course, this is not the normal thing over here. We are normally painting miniatures or assembly miniatures or talking about it <laughs> normally. Um, but we are here with Lutherian, like I said, exclamation mark Lutherian in the chat to get a link to her channel. Please do give her a follow, even if it's just a follow to say thank you for spending her time with us tonight and uh, having a bit of fun in IRL here, the IRL section, learning some fiber arts. Um, I keep looking at this one because what I'm normally looking at, but either of them. Um, but yeah. Um, with the, hey boy, let's talk about yarn. Indeed, let's talk about yarn. So yeah, we are learning to spin the pre-drafting, the drafting during the spinning, and then we're going to be doing plying, I guess, is the next bit. So I've just kind of decanted my first attempt at yarn onto my manly tub. I'm going to watch the next part of the video. The video above me here, on in the right-hand side, sorry, is made by Lutheran. It is a very, uh, it is available on her YouTube. Um, of course, she is a streamer. So how we, how we know through through uh, Rainer as well. So do make sure you give her a follow, as I said. So, right, let's see what she says next on the tutorial. You're gonna take your spindle and find the end of your yarn. And you're just gonna wind that on. The video changes in volume, I have to admit. I think that's right. Just like so. She needs a toilet roll, in a toilet roll. When you have two paper towel rolls full of yarn, you'll be ready to ply. The next step is going to be to ply our yarn. Oh, yeah, okay. really, you can use anything to wind off onto. It's to just, uh, you know, whatever's cheapest in at hand. Okay. It's not particularly a high-tech thing. 
Well, does it matter that, that obviously, um, whilst we're having a stream of innuendo, girth, does it matter in this case? Like, is this something you start with? Does it matter? The only time, the only time the girth matters is if you're gonna pull the center ball, ball off and stick your hand through it. Pull your hand through it. Right, yeah, so the center of, needs to be big enough to get your hand through it, right, okay. Right, sometimes um, spinners will uh, spin and ply from both ends of the ball. So if, if, you, if I were spinning from both ends of the ball, I would like to be able to stick my hand in the ball. Okay. <laughs> yeah, again. All right, cool. <laughs> A very patient teacher she is indeed. Very patient to deal with me doing this stuff. Stop it, goddammit, Lathius. There's going be so many quotes that make no sense in miniature painting whatsoever. <laughs> My bot's just full of bizarre quotes. Thank you, mate. Sorry. So we want to get a bit more spin out there. Right. It's the I am talking about balls, and I also have a ball winder, just so you know. <laughs> she ain't taking any of your crap. She knows what she's trying to do. Right, so again, over the end, try to do it from memory now, fold this bit, hold this bit. Right, so we're going to go back over to here again, so I'm going to do a quick switch back over. Uh, let's just do a fade for now. You're right, there we go. Hi, back again. Right, so fold it over. Now, you said last time I was doing it by hand like this. Both you and Hannah said to spin it and, and just trust in it. I, is that a better, is there a reason why that's a better technique? Is there a reason why I should be doing that over hand twisting it up until I'm happy with it? Yes, um, it's a question of speed. So you're only able to add so much twists by manually cranking it, cranking Oops. the shaft. Um, <laughs> yeah. But when you spin it and let it go, um, it will actually spin for longer than you can spin with your hand. Okay. And if you get your fiber caught up in there, just unwind it, toss it back over your elbow or shoulder and, and go on. Yeah, unless you of course pull the bit off the end like I did and therefore have to start again, not just there, but with another bit entirely. <sighs> okay. Flickster, you will take 20 years to spin a sock's worth of yarn finger twisting that spindle. Hey, anyone who knows my stream will know full well this is not a stream about speed. Oh my god, love, you've, spit, you've, spit, you've drafted this so thinly, it, if I let it use gravity, it falls off. You've done this far too well, and have therefore made it far too thin, that if I, if I lose, right, I'm going to have to put it on the table opposite me, right. I let it spin, uh, fall to the floor, and then as I let it fall, it literally pulled out, so. That's okay. It can always be joined later on. What, with my two little bits here, I can join them back on, is that what you're saying? My two sausages. That's exactly like... what I'm saying. She's trying to make it harder for me, that's what you're trying to do. That would be rapid progress for Flix to see all the freaking... Honestly... I can't go anywhere in Twitch anymore without a joke being made about speed. I can't watch a single other person's stream without some troll saying something about the speed. Like, unbelievable. I'm not even painting and someone is still mocking me for it. <laughs> Keely saw that. Yeah, sorry, Keely. <laughs> no one saw it. Lutheran was talking. No one to say a thing. It's fine. <laughs> right, so I want to do this so it doesn't get hooked up. Right, so that's parking there. Uh, do I, you can see that there? You can see that there. Let's go back a bit more. <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Alright, so we've got to let the twist go up. That's too thick, though. Come on now. I've let go of the twist, it's just not gone on. So if I try and twist it more and more and more, I realise the light lighting is getting darker in here. Uh, if I twist it more and more and more, 
to try and compensate for letting go of the, the twist like I did losing the energy. That's not going to work, is it? Because that's going to make a point down here really tight and then not up. So what I have to do at this point, if I've lost the tension, is bring that further down towards the spindle and spin that up. Is that right? Hey, Hellstorm, how are you doing? The room looks weird from this angle. Yes, indeed. I've got multiple angles. You can see the normal one there and that one here. <laughs> Alright. Let's just try that one more time. So that's tightened there. And then let's do this that way. So there. Go up to here. Spin it. Park it. There. She's feeling again. Cool. Mm -hmm. again. Or is it the same session? Sorry. Yeah. She burped. She continued. <laughs> she burped and then she continued. Okay. How you doing, Hellstorm? How's your stream, man? I saw you on earlier. Hope you're okay. Welcome to something a bit different. I realise that's in the way. Actually, let's pop it over there. Actually, nice. Let's give you something to look at there. That's the previous badass attempt. <laughs> I'll try and spin this without it getting hooked up. There. So weird not having the music as well. So the video is paused because the video is at the point ahead of us now where Lutherian's got two bits of yarn done and is waiting to ply them together if that's the right term to use which i believe it is um so i'm doing the second part now turning it into i'll try and turn thing i get better that bit i've got that bit on lock now this bit's a bit i suck at allowing that twist then out knowing how far forward to do it You know, I am going to throw out there that like fiber arts and uh, miniature painting do have a surprising lot of things in common. Really? Um, Rainer and I often spend a lot of time um, talking about color theory, blending okay. shades. Um, so that's one thing. But also, if you're doing basing, any any sort of false grass that you use in basing is going to be um, it's going to come from a fiber source, usually horsehair. So, I mean, there's some crossover there as well. Really? Why, why, why would you suspect or know that it's ho horsehair? What properties mean it's worth it? Oh, no. uh, I don't know why. I, I don't remember where I learned that, but... Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I just know I, it. I, yeah. I, I often uh, I often make like I'll take some fiber I'll dye it to the color of whatever grass and then I'll take a blade and I'll um, cut it to the size that we need so I mean some of the basic materials um, that Ringer has in his uh, stash are things that I've not not much but some of it's uh, um, some of it's stuff that I've put together for him too oh that's cool that's very cool now obviously I'm doing this at quite I don't know if you've noticed but I'm doing this quite qu quickly compared to what I did before um, two reasons one this isn't as a long a piece but also I am trying to see if if I worry less about specifics is that a better thing this is kind of what I'm finding at the moment is actually not thinking about it as much and just going down with like you say muscle memory kind of technique is actually helping loads more like i've got a much far more consistent i can't really show you this but there's a fluffy bit here i appreciate but like i'm getting more bits like that in between that are a consistent width I feel yeah like and the right. more you do it, it the better you're going to get at it yeah Sometimes spinners will focus so much on the little tiny bits that they end up not making a yarn. And um, nine times out of 10, that little mistake isn't even gonna show up in the finished thing that you make with that yarn. Oh, 
I've let the attention go by accident in this bit. A weekly spinning stream. I don't know if I'm that good at it. <laughs> I'm not sure how many people would want to watch that. <laughs> it's more like a car crash than actual. Like, I'm pretty sure there'd be Fiverr artists, streamers out there that will get insulted by me trying to do this on Sundays. I mean, that being said, there's a lot of crossovers. So Latheus and myself have been uh, assisting or at least mildly supporting a variety streamer by the name of Brotato, uh, who is moving in and doing more uh, creative streaming. So he's been doing, uh, I think, three weekends now he's up to, or definitely two, maybe a third, I forget, um, where he is starting to move away from just video gaming to, to painting his D&D &D minis. He's an avid D&D player. So, again, that's someone else who's moving. There's, a week, there's his weekly variety stuff. Sorry, his week full of variety stuff. Then on the weekends, is doing a completely different uh, stream where he's painting minis. Uh, it's like playing an instrument. You have to train your muscles uh, to do the movements so they become second nature. Yeah, indeed. I was going to start um, streaming mini painting. Maybe I should um, have a day for other craft, like spinning on sewing. Yeah, do it. So I've I've been having conversations on Discord about streaming my full time job, not my actual job, but the uh, development. So programming, coding. Not many people in this stream right now in this chat would be interested in that, but there are others that would be. Um, so if I can fit that into a schedule, then I would. It would mean I'd be able to I'd be able to stream more because the reason I don't stream that often, uh, like, like twice a week at the moment. Obviously we used to do four or five a week. Now we're down to two Mondays and Wednesdays, is because of my work commitments. So maybe we could do a, some programming ones and do that, and then maybe even do yeah some spinning or something else. Who knows? Try a various different arts and crafts as part of it. Could be a bit of a laugh. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm gonna try and just deal with this bit. Oh, so I do the join. Let's do the join loop again. So I just what was it? I just cross them over again, don't I? So if I wanted to join them, I need to add the tension back in. Oh, God, yep. You just them. you just layer them one on top of the other. Draft it a little bit, and then Let's let the twist up into that new area. Draft it a little bit. Now this is already quite thin, so it should be okay. And then hold it together. Okay, so. Try to fill that, park it. Add that on this bit. Oh, how do I get it to join though? This is a crazy bit. I don't remember, but there may be a visual of joining somewhere like late in the video too. Oh really? <laughs> okay, well I think if I don't put too much tension on this, it just works. I said that now, but we'll see if it actually holds it. It looks like it has. Ah, don't hook it together. There we go. <laughs> Good job. Good burp. Strong burp, mini flick. Well done. Unless that was you, wifey. No, that was squishy. Nice strong burp, that. Good dog, love. <laughs> Certainly our child. Again, that's why we're streaming in IRL. It's a bit of a chilled one. Family here, having a bit of a laugh. Guest streamer. All that jazz. You're about half your staple length. You want about half your staple length overlapping for a strong joint. Ah, oh, that would make sense. So for those that missed the start of the stream, we came here through host, a staple length, and if I get this right, so I'm learning, uh, is the length of the fibers within the yarn, um, or the average, potentially, yeah. uh, length of the fibers within the yarn. Um, and that's what we refer to as a staple length. So obviously you want half of that overlapping to get half on each side in theory to give you a nice strong bridge. Wow, check me out. Like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right. You do know what you're talking about. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to. I'm trying to take your lessons and, and, and talk about it. Hopefully this is a legitimate example. Um, are you sure that was mini flick? I wasn't. That's why I asked the wifey. <laughs> it was. It was. It's quite funny, if you watch the camera, the mini flick is being bounced in the background. You can just see her peering over your shoulder. Hello, mini flick. Hello. Big eyes. Put me back on Zoom. 
How you doing? <laughs> you are such a chubby baby now. I mean, he's made you into a chubby thing with her boots. Right, so I've got to join this last piece together. <laughs> I'm not going to join that bit, it's too small. But I will try and do this one more time just for testers. Okay, so half of the fibre length is what Hannah said. Let's give that a shot. Oh, he's only got to nailed it first time. Lovely. I wouldn't say my second piece of yarn ever is better than the well, I guess it's better than the first, but there's certainly nothing to write home about it still. Um, that is correct, Corridale. Oh wait, sorry. Corridale is which is what you're working with, usually has five to six inch staple. That inch? Centimeter inch, yeah. I can never remember. Speech mark is inch? Yeah. Right, speech mark is inch, yeah. Yeah. I got that wrong once and said foot or something, and it already mocked me on the internet. I'm like, God damn it. New setup flick, I've been away for two weeks, looks different. <laughs> Witch King, this was a overlay I made today, specifically for today, for this stream, where there are multiple camera angles, where we are learning to spin. We are not doing minutes of stuff. The lighting, although it's really bright in here, for some reason my main camera's gone really quite dark, so I'll adjust that in a minute. Obviously, the time's gone on in the evening. We're into dusk. Um, but this is an overlay primarily going to be used for when guests appear, so I'm talking with, uh, not just with Varian today, but um, in the future as well, I'm doing, doing um, some streams with um, Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis, or Shoshi's Magnificent Minis. Oh, don't know, roll, don't know, roll. Um, so we'll be using this overlay. We'll be showing uh, either a video, or we might even show the lady herself in one of the camera slots here on the right-hand side. That way. Wait, wait, that way. There you go. I can't even point. There. <laughs> uh, and we'll be doing a Kingdom Death Mini together. That's the plan currently. But today it's Lutherian, the lovely lady, the better half of Rainer seventy two as well. Oh, Greg. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that done. Um, who's teaching me how to spin? As I said, part of a, a fun, just a fun stream from uh, when she helped us get to two hundred and fifty subscriber points, helped us unlock those emotes that you guys are enjoying. Um, and yeah, she used her half an hour as they learn to spin, not like half an hour, tend to a stream for the fun of it. Far longer than half an hour, but who cares? I've been having a laugh, it's good fun, so. Right, I don't know what to do next now. This is, shall I watch the video? Let's watch the video. Oh, what I do need to do, I need to decant this onto this. Oh no, no, not onto the same one. You've got I, your... I would probably do it on a separate one. Yeah. You didn't tell me to get two of them, love. All right, I haven't got a manly tube. I've, I've got a poster tube, but it's massive. But right, let's do that. This is a bad idea. Switch hands. See, now, that's an equally manly tube there. Really? What? Because of the size? <laughs> this, is, this is not that manly. I mean, kind of manly. It's a, it's a Terry Pratchett... Is it a poster? Or is, what is it, the poster? Or is it the, it's the sign poster, isn't it? From Nikki? Uh, I don't it's a Terry Pratchett sign something from, that was gifted to us as part of our wedding from uh, one of uh, Alexandra Lexibum's bridesmaids. So it's kind of manly, only that it's a poster and it's got Terry Pratchett's signature. But I'd say it's fairly girly in the fact that it's a gift from a bridesmaid to a bride. Right. So get rid of the twist at the end. And slide it off. Yeah, nailed. Got it. Right, okay, so that can go over there for the moment. Although, whilst I got really excited about that, because I've let the twist out, it's just unravelling entirely. Right, so let's do another switcheroo. Let's go over to here. Look at that lovely switch. Now we're over here. So now we've got some purple yarn. Yay me for yarn number two. And again, the consistency here, you can still see there's some thicker ones and some thinner ones for sure. But it's much, much... Uh, I'd say the average is closer across the board than the initial one. So I feel like that's some, somewhat some progress there. If you compare the average size of that one compared to this one <laughs> it's all over the place um, so that, that's better but damn yeah, a, a much a, certainly a, a deeper respect in, in those that get a consistent yarn 
I'll never look like a, a, a ball of wool, a ball of wool together the same way. Right, so already improving. <laughs> Put that in the wrong place, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so let's watch the next part of the video. I'm gonna get a drink uh, and we'll find out what's next. I'm, I'm assuming it's the plying. Again, uh, guys, apologies, I've not kept up with chat. I've tried my best. Um, I obviously have this, you know, I'm focusing fully on doing this, so I don't know. If I miss something, do apologise. Try and highlight me and I will try and catch up with it as best I can. Obviously, Lutheran is watching chat as well. So if you have any questions about fibre arts or what I'm doing here, uh, as fundamental as you want or as advanced as well. Obviously, there's some fibre artists in here. Maybe you've got something specific you'd like to ask Lutheran that you haven't before. Um, give it a shot. You have to apply yourself to the task. Yes. See what you did there? It's quite funny, that Desartes. <laughs> right. Let's listen to teacher again. Really quiet. Now, I want to be careful not to let any of the twist out of our yarn, or else that may cause trouble when we're trying to find nope. it. Nope, I have to go back. This bit's quieter than the last bit. Roll. So let's go here and turn this up for me. When you have two paper towel rolls full of yarn, you'll be ready to ply. The next step is going to be to ply our yarn. I have two paper towel rolls here, and each one of them has some yarn on it. First, I'm going to find the end from each roll, and I'm going to pair those up together. Now, I want to be careful not to let any of the twist out of our yarn. Hannah, I would definitely, definitely be interested in doing them. a spin-in sometime. Uh, go ahead and shoot me a private message, and uh, we can chat afterwards. Take your paper towel rolls and then just set them on the floor next to you and draw your yarn up. Next, mm -hmm. I'm going to take my leader yarn on my spindle. I'm going to open up our loop and I'm going to take our two ends of our yarn and I'm going to insert it into our loop just the way we did with fiber. Hold it over so that we have a place to hold it by. So we're basically doing the same thing we did with a single with the with the wool originally. Well, that's a, that's a funny pause. Okay. Give me a second. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, Brits naturally pronounce it Dasartes. Canadians seem to be born Desartes. Yeah, I, I always call them Desartes. I don't know. Is that right? Is that wrong? Yes, but make sure you're spinning the other direction. Okay, so I was holding the spindle. Oh, God. That, that way. There we go, there we go. And I was doing it that way. So now I go to counterclockwise in this bit. Right, so it, she said to... The bit that I... It said, careful something something. I missed, which is kind of worrying. <laughs> it's like something out of a cartoon where it's like, wait, really important. Okay? I'm like, what? <laughs> but what I did here was I'm going to hold the ends together the same way. You're going to extend them so they're, they're like on the floor. They're quite far away. I'm not sure I've got enough length to do that, but have them away from me and clear and free of any kind of um, tagging or snagging. Uh, yeah, same again. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Right, so let's find the best end to use, which is this fatty here, probably. So that's that one. Uh, let me switch to the bigger one again, actually. There we go. Wait. All right. Why, why, why do you insist in rolling that way? Thank you. Okay, then we've got my big manly tube. And we've got another end here. Okay. Right, so before I go ahead and attempt to do a thing with our two colors here, you can tell, and then you can tell me Lutherian preempting me of any kind of issues I might run into compared to what I've been doing already, or is it the same process applied, or? It'll be the same process. It'll actually be a little bit easier because as you're applying the two strands together, it's going to want to find a place of balance. So it'll your spindle will actually come to a complete stop once it's balanced. Now, the one thing to be careful of is make sure you do not spin it in the opposite or the same direction that you spun your singles, because if you do, it'll just make it very tight and kinky and weird. Just make it very tight and what, sorry? Tight and kinky and weird. <laughs> that sounds like all of the, all the good things. That sounds that sounds like a whole lot of good. What's wrong with that? 
Tight, kinky, and weird. We're on Twitch spinning. Come on. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I, I spun it the other way. So I've got to remember that. And it's not... It's... Right. His wife is right there. <laughs> this is true. This is true. And she has... I, I agree. And she agrees. Just going to get some other twist out of this. There we go. Right. Okay, so, hey, Claptraps, how you doing? Oh, Phil, what? This is part of it. This is what happens when you have half an hour and you, you stay true to your word. I've, I've never not stayed true to my word on the internet so far. Note that I said so far because someone's going to go way too far with their half an hour request. All right. Yeah, they say this is the longest half hour. Yeah, well, this is it. Like, it's the same thing with a lot, lot I've done the same thing though. I've had some tech one on ones for twenty four ninety nine ended up being like two hours. I, yeah, what that? What I say? I'm too nice. Right. <laughs> well that's certainly not as loud. There we go. Clap track. Thank you so much, man, for that subscription. It's very, very kind of you. Welcome to the chaos. As I learn to spin. Well, we've done, as you can see in the, in, where are we? Let's try again. That way. There you go. This bit here. There. <laughs> I got two bits of uh, yarn already spun, thanks to the help of Lutherian. Um, Hey, I'm Milos. How are you doing? Is this real streaming? Where's the mini? Yeah, I know. Like, like, it's a Sunday extra bonus stream. We're learning to spin this part of 24, yeah, 2499. Uh, we're having a bit of fun. We're crossing the proverbial streams. We're doing a bit of creative mishmash. As I am spending some time here with Lutherian's aid, learning to spin something that she does on her channel here on Twitch. If you give her a follow, you'll see this done in a much higher level of expertise. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna. I, I don't know how to how to organise myself where this makes sense, apart from like have this down this side and this down this side, and hope that it all goes well. That's a good way to do it. Right. That's pretty much it. Oh God. Okay. I shouldn't have chosen such manly tubes. This is not going to work. All right. Okay. We're just going to have this here as well. Right. I can't do this on stream properly as such. Right. Okay. I've got that one. I don't want to have this on the tension. I've got that one. So join them together, make them together, fold them in half, and then spin the spindle the opposite direction in the, which I spun the original yarn, is that right? Yes. Oh god. It sounds so simple and yet I've made such a faff of this. Right, okay. I was going to say, you're doing a good job. You're actually making yarn, so keep up. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a thing. Right, when I put this, this isn't on camera. Let's put that there. Hold that there. And let's do that there. This is going to go so fucking wrong. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm going to spin it the other way. So. Alright, put that there. And then same thing, let this twist. Oh no, 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 don't, don't, don't come off. So I, I've got a little bit already that's slightly tighter than the next bit. Should I be worried about that or not? Just let it, uh, if you <clears throat> let it go and let the, uh, the uh, spindle find balance. Once it finds balance, um, you have a, an even spun yarn. Let it find balance. Right, so when the spindle stops spinning on its own, you can, you can actually let it hang down and it'll stop spinning back and forth. That, is, that means that your yarn is at a balanced spot. Do you, want, you want to let it unwind, just to be clear here. You want to let go of this, previously you said, you know, spin it, let park it, hang it and from stop the hook. it. But now you're saying, actually in this case, we want to let it go and do a thing. Right. 
Right, let it, let it, let it be armed. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh god damn it, it unspun itself and fell off the end. Oi. Right, we're gonna do it again. Alright. I don't wanna get salty right at the end. I was so close. Right, okay, so <laughs> unlike the first time, you're saying this time I need to spin it up tight, park it, then let it no, and then obviously let that twist energy through into the you yarn, but then in this case let it let go completely and let it right. unspin. Right, what you're going to do, because basically it's spinning in the opposite direction. When you let it go, the energy in those two singles is going to push it in that opposite direction. So if you hold it by a pinch point and just hold it and let the spindle hang, it'll find balance on its own without you doing anything. Now you can turn it and find balance, but at this point, just let it find its own balance. And then what? Then wrap it on the arm and then do it again. Twist it one way. And then let yep, it catch wrap up. Wrap it around the uh, shaft and then do it again. And this time, again, you spin it, let it go, and then you let it come back, which we weren't doing on the first time. Yes? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't hear that. As in, the bit I'm struggling with, <laughs> repeating myself, I'll just be short, is that unlike the first time where we spun it tight, like that, stopped it, parked it, let that energy go through like this and then I had to carry on you're now saying at this point I should actually just entirely let go of the spindle and let it just sit there and be something because at the moment yes. when I do that it will come off the spindle okay well that's okay what I would do is I would take that end and go ahead and just wrap it onto your spindle okay and, and then, then carry on as if that was my my right, yes. leader yarn Yes, because when you have those two singles, we've added a lot of twist into those, and they want to untwist in the opposite direction. Well, when you put those two singles next to each other and they ah. twist in the opposite direction, they're actually putting energy into each other. So that's what makes the yarn, and that's why it, it just hangs straight, because all of that energy is balanced out. I made a thing! I get it now. Light bulb. <laughs> Hello. Are you not grumpy now? Hello. Your tail is a little too short and it's going to drop your spindle if it gets too loose. Yeah, it did that. It, it definitely did that, Hannah. <laughs> we are past that point. It, it, did, it did a drop, for sure. So I've got to do it the other way. Wait, wait, wait. I've got to be careful here because I've got to spin it the other way. What I've got to do is spin it. Oh, God. I want to spin opposite. I was doing that way, that way, so I'm doing it that way. So I'm that way. Sorry guys, bear with me in two seconds. Is that the right way? No, fuck. How are you doing this? How are you failing at this bit? It's like the easiest bit. I oh, don't have to worry about this. That way. There we go. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Okay. Um, how's the thing going? Uh, well, the thing's becoming a thing. That's about as far as the thing has got. It looks like it's doing a thing. I think it's doing a thing. Everyone else is quite happy with it doing a thing, but I'm going to... Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, we'll see. So, it's, right. it's totally doing a thing. It's totally doing a thing. Right. Right, so again. So this time, I'm gonna, letting the twist go through, but then I can let go of the spindle right, again. God, this purple, man. <laughs> this is not the most organised I've ever been. How, do you sit on the sofa, and, or, or the couch as you guys call it, and then just let the arm side of you? Because at the moment, I'm just rocking and knocking over the tube, so to speak, at the moment. When I'm using a tube like that, I'll put one on either side of me on the floor and just let them go. Right, that's what I should have done. I've got one on the desk at the moment. On sewing machines, when you put the, the thread on, it's actually over the top of a sticky out bit, so it just automatically spins as the thread unspins. 
it automatically spins as the thread unspins. Yeah, so the way you're pulling it off of the whiskey tube thingy there, imagine if that was sat on something else so it stayed put every time you pulled on the yarn and it would just sit and happily spin as the yarn unspun. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, this is a disaster. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Let's do it the right you way. You got this. It? It's not consistent, that's for damn sure. Well, again, like, I can Consistent's let it. Like, that's choose, that's Shall I put this up in the whip gallery? <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh dear. I'll put it on Instagram. There you go. Here's the result of today's stream, guys. This is the work in progress. This is my two ply something or other. I'm not sure what that's what term is called. Yeah. Oh god, I knew that was going to happen. Put it over the top of the whiskey bottle. What do you mean put it over the top of the whiskey bottle? Oh no! Help, help, help. Who can't help? I can right. hold it. Hold that so it doesn't unravel. I'm gonna let this go this way. No, I've got like pressing. Oh. Okay, Everyone's watching this go like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Right, if I get to here. Whoa, no, I hope that bit works. Right. Oh, we gotta spin it that way again. Okay, we're going to have to... Oh. <laughs> it fries. <laughs> it's fine, guys. Totally fine. <laughs> Why do you think all of this? She loves it. She only does this, I think. No! <laughs> You're big, fat, baldy. Yeah, I've seen that bald. She's a big, fat, baldy? Your mic's there. I know. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to make it go through without doing that. There you go. No! What did you do? I pulled the last bit of the purple oh, out. No, you pulled it. Ah, oh, well. <sighs> it was close to the end. I did a fail, guys. I'm oh, sorry. All right. Did you make it to the end of the purple? Yeah, basically. That's that's fine. It's almost impossible to get two lengths of yarn the same length, so I would just break off your white at that point, and that's call that done. Oh, really? <gasps> yep, you got it. Also, I just want to point out, having the wool in your mouth, we call that spit technology in my in my uh, art. <laughs> spit technology. There's a whole lot of that. Uh spit technology that myself, January Envision and Latheus use, much to the dismay of most mini painters. <laughs> wow. I mean, it kind of twists together. So, spit is actually really important in spinning. Oh, maybe I should start spinning in. I am all up in the, I, I, I'm very good at that. The whole lot in my mini painting. All up in the dribble. <gasps> we can get Ella doing it. She's hey, I told you that uh, fiber arts and painting was like a lot the same. <laughs> what do you spit? This is it, yeah. Full crossover then. And for shaping brushes, indeed, for shaping brushes as well. Right, so what's the way of how yeah. do I uh, tie the knot at the end, so to speak? Do I literally tie a knot, or is it just it uses its own tension to basically be the end, or do you burn it? Do you put plastic around it? What's the deal? It, in most cases, it'll hold its own tension, but you've got a very, very thick end there, so I would just tie a nice little knot in it. <laughs> you've got a nice thick end. Yeah, yeah, I have. Oh, dear. <laughs> what? And then you can wind it off, and you've got yarn. Well, you, you hold much faith that it's not going to just unravel and explode the moment I do this. I'm expecting flames. Right. There's my... <laughs> Look at that! Oh no. Oh dear. 
Is this gonna explode instantly? Oh, it's not. It's holding together. I mean. I like it. You like it, even though it's fluffy. Yeah. Would you use this to make something with it? I I would love a jumper made of that. But then I do love <laughs> and, jumpers. And Hannah just pointed out something uh, really important. Uh, you can actually uh, put a little bit of spit between your hands, rub the end back and forth, and that'll felt the tip a little bit, and that'll keep your yarn together too. I'm all being. Okay, I thought we were trolled then. <laughs> Spit on the hand, rub it together. The flames have been coming from your audience. Oh, I don't, true. I don't think she means hockey or anything. But... <laughs> guys, 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 guys. You gotta appreciate it. Look, we made a thing with 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 mild accidental bits. <laughs> wow. There you go. Right, let me let me uh let's go back to a tr more traditional. I don't know. We can just switch it this way, can't we? Let's do that. I tell you what, the colour balance is not doing any favours here. Let's, uh, mm, the red's looking less red as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll sort that out now. Where's the uh, white balance? There it is. Wow, that's totally not what I want. White. Is that right? No, it's not intensity. A little bit brighter. There you go, it's a wee bit better. Wow, well, that didn't help at all. Oh, I don't know, whatever, that's about right anyway. Either way, let's just turn the brightness up as well. Whoa. Weird brush back in the house. <laughs> Yes, moisten the tip with your spit. <laughs> moisten the tip with your spit. Thank you so much, Weird Brush. <laughs> oh dear. Man, I really want to make a super crazy bulky yarn like that. See, that's a manly yarn. That's what you're trying to say. You're trying to say, look at that manly yarn that this amazing first timer has made. I know you're impressed. That's what you meant, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. So it, it's, I wouldn't say it's exactly good. <laughs> I mean, it's got some tension in it, but it, it varies somewhat in girth and how tightly wound it is in certain places, for example. But, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's purple and it's cream or white, whatever you want to call it. And it, it does a thing and it's attached to a thing if I unspin it entirely. Yeah, it may be thick and thin, but it's definitely a yarn and you could definitely make something with that. Yay! I'm that quite excited. A, a <laughs> thanks a lot, love. I'm gonna say a skipping rope. <laughs> well, thanks. Hey, the gunners are here doing. Hannah, that's a great bulky yarn. Seriously, good. Thank you. Hype. AV6 cult. Oh yeah, it's another hype. So, hellstorm and um, the fine. I'm assuming also you're you're here an affiliate yourself, so your sub buttons are alive and living. Is it not as well? Yeah, and I've almost, almost got my uh, my emotes uploaded. Hell yeah. They're, they're uploaded, but they're waiting for the approval. Okay, awesome. I look forward to that. I am an emote fan, as you well know. So I've been waiting for a lot of the... Um, there's a few affiliates that I've subbed to just because I love them, but I happen to be in their streams. Or they, or they've streamed when I've been around. I've not been around recently. There's a few affiliates that I am due to sub, but I've been waiting for emotes. Hellstorm's got a good hype one. Looks like Scott's got a hype one as well. I know Nicky Knowles has a love heart. So I look forward to seeing all the cool new emotes from all the new affiliates. Looking forward to that. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I, I, we did a thing. Lexi, do you want to go? Or are you quite happy with just being... Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Oh, you're going to call it there? <laughs> what, what time is it? How long are we... Oh, it's 20 past nine. We should yeah, definitely call it. We need some food. I did not realise how much time we've taken tonight. So, um, yeah, okay. So we, we did a thing. We, we made some yarn. We had some fun. It was enjoyable. I actually did enjoy it. It was frustrating at times, but that's only because I'm learning as I go. But um, yeah, I wouldn't say I won't do it again. I think I'll have a go again, but I'll have to find some more. How much more have we got left? We've got some purple left. We can do some more purple. I've got some white down here as well. So maybe we'll try and do a, a Mark II version of this at some point in the future. But um, I also want to um, give a great, big, huge thank you to the Varian for joining me tonight and sticking by all this time. So I apologize for up so much of your evening or afternoon for you, I guess. You're minus five, aren't you? Or minus six? No, I can't remember. I say this has been awesome i mean this is exactly the kind of thing i love doing so thanks for oh. taking the time to hang out with me and learn to spin no <laughs> it's good it's been it was I, I, honest honest hands on hand on heart it was more fun than i was expecting if that makes sense it was difficult at times again 
it's very deceiving. There's a simplicity, but there's definitely a technique. There's definitely a skill. There's a muscle memory. It's not to be taken lightly. It is a fun thing to do. I can see it being very cathartic, similar to like I am when I'm doing my glazing and I'm painting. There's certain techniques that take lots of time, but they're just relaxing. I can see this with the spinning and the motion of the spinning. Once you've got it to a muscle memory, you don't have to worry about the technique of whether you're going to pull it too much like I did in separating the yarn. I can see it being a fun thing, you know, a, a, a relaxing thing. Um, yeah, I can see why. So, uh, again, thank you for hanging out. Obviously, it's 3.30 for you, Hannah. Is it? Okay, cool. Um... I, I will do the gunners, I don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, it's been a blast. Uh, obviously a lot longer than half an hour. I apologise for those of you that were hanging around to see the end result, but this is what we got. I will post a picture on Instagram so you can all laugh at the uh, inconsistencies of it. But um, yeah, I'll tell you what I can do actually quickly. I can switch to our normal painting one, where are we? Let's, it's excuse to use one of our new transitions. Look at that lovely piece there, there you go. Now you can see this in full glory. So there you go. This is what we made. It's a beautifully inconsistent yarn. And it, I, I like to think this is a piece of humanity. It's inconsistent, it shows its beauty in its, in, in, in its inconsistencies. You see, this is like a statement for life. <laughs> All right, no, it's crap, it's my first time, so. <laughs> there you go, guys. Anyway, thank you so much. We're gonna, we're gonna go find, we'll host a mini streamer, but like I said, guys, there is a, a couple of, um, uh, before we go, there is a bunch of Fiber Arts streamers here and Fiber Arts viewers in the channel who've been supporting me. Hannah, one of them, uh, of the Leverian. If you are a streamer, whether you're a mini painting streamer or a Fiber Arts streamer, please do a shout out for yourself right now in chat. Give these guys a follows, support each other across not just miniature painters. We're always hosting miniature painters, but you should host others. We've got traditional artists, uh, Amanda out of Prisney that I host. Carson Druitt is in our paint bottle throwers. Uh, Discord, another traditional artist. We've got uh, uh, Miss Jane Lee, another traditional artist, very high supporter of uh, miniature painters. And obviously tonight, Lutherian's joined us from Fiber Arts as well. So try and just go and view creative as a bigger thing. There's so much cool stuff to find out. You never know, you might find something else you didn't realize existed that might be fun for you. So give it a shot. Um, anyway, I am gonna be done. I, we need to feed, well, we need to eat. Obviously Squish has already eaten, so. <laughs> We're, we are going to go and, and do a family thing. So, guys, yeah, um, thank you so much for the follows tonight. Thank you for those who subbed tonight. We had six subs tonight. It's really appreciated. Thank you so much. And again, once more, exclamation mark Luke Ferrin. As you see, latest has already done it for you. Go give the lady a click and find out and go and have a look at how it's done properly. Okay? So, right, let's do a close up and I'll find out who's on. I've got to go and open the actual. Uh, uh, I haven't even opened Twitch. I literally went live. I. I through Scott a message whilst he was streaming, didn't even get to stay because I was doing all the overlays you saw tonight. So I don't even know who's been online. So if I've streamed over someone's normal time slot, I apologize. This is not my normal time slot, so. Um, yeah, thank you again. Hope you enjoyed yourself as well. And obviously we, we did have Mini Flick and uh, Mrs. Flick on mic tonight with a new mic over there, the setup as well. So hope you enjoyed having them gurgling, all up. one of them gurgling, one of them mocking me, mocking me every now and then, saying hello. But. Uh, <laughs> you just realise you're holding it to the mic. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Mini Flick is currently mic'd up. Um, just in case. Just in case. She might decide to say something. She's been giggling. There you go. Bye, everyone. No worries. Yes, and okay, thank you. For the first time spinning, you did an amazing job. Way to go. Thank you, Keely. That's very kind words. Uh, looks great for me the first time and making me want the violet mini candies. Yes, they do look like little mini candies. They look like, they look like candy you get from the. Is it rock cake? Rock candy yeah. you get? Looks like rock candy. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing, but a good job, Flick. Thank you. Um, and yeah, thank you to all the mini painters who obviously hung out, not watching what they normally watch, just to be here on stream. It's really appreciated. So, um, Let's do a closing thing there. And then let's use the other one. Let's use this one so that Blip can see both of them in use. There we go. Look at that. Oh, lovely, lovely that. Yep, so I will be back tomorrow night um, doing more miniature-based things. Again, unfortunately, I can't promise to be painting. It might be yet another assembly, but I might try and get it so we actually do some priming with the airbrush tomorrow. Again, that'll be like the second time I've used it and the first time I've used it without any kind of... Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, what's the word? Without Grendler watching me, without so anyone... Make supervision. Supervision, thank you. That's the word I was looking for, supervision. Um... You miss that you keep missing the paint splash one. That's there's no sound, indeed. I can't, I can't, I can do a transition to the same thing if you want, just so that Blitzqueak can see it. The, the longest closing ever. Here you go. Ever paint splat to the same thing. Ready and, oh look, it's the same one. <laughs> there you go. Um, 
But yeah, right guys, let's go find out who can we go and host. Who is about, let's click on following. Um, ah, Borax on, Small Caves on, Jimmy the Brush is on. Oh my god, there's loads of people on. Cousin Nice Guy's on, Grumpy's on. There are so many people on for a Sunday evening. My god, Brotato's on. Oh, Brotato is painting a bugbear. See, Brotato's the variety streamer I'm on about. I would like to go and host him. Because he's a he's got a large large following a large viewing and if we can give him more exposure for some of us showing some support maybe he'll show the support back to creative so i'm going to go and host brotato um the guys he's painting so give him hype he's normally of a uh a variety streamer playing games and such like does D, &D loves D, D. so we're going to go over there we're going to give him the host thank you so much guys okay i'll see you tomorrow probably doing assembly maybe we'll get some painting or some spraying done okay so Enjoy. Thank you so much. Once again, Ethereum, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, and when are you next streaming, Ethereum? When's your next stream? Uh, should be on... Um, it's a good question. I think Tuesday is the 4th of July, so I might do a day stream on, uh, on Tuesday. Okay. On Tuesday. All right, cool. Well, obviously, watch social media for that. And in the meantime, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now. Let me see if that works. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. Woo! <laughs> I don't know if the host's gone through. <laughs> I think so, but there we go. There we are, hosting Brotato. How you doing? <laughs>